so when you look at it here, okay, let's just take a let's just take a look, right, um, at some of the some of the more notable team names, like not team names, but this, the n more notable people, right? So obviously, Ducky went Wood Elf. You yourself also went Wood Elf. But let's talk about like say the Sage, right? Notably, one of the people who knows a good bit about Blood Bowl, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that pick, Undead? I, I don't, I, again, I, I told him um, I didn't like it. I would have. I just think humans are better. If you think about it, if if a, if a mummy gets knocked out or cast, Undead are like a really, 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 really bad human team. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they need both mummies to be operating to even be compared to humans. And it'll right. pay off for him if, if he gets through the first few rounds, because, yeah, the, the difference later on, the difference between 9 and 11 isn't as big as the difference between 4 and 6, obviously. That's, mm -hmm. that's basic maths, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But, it's, it's but wouldn't you say that... I, I actually went and built a good bit of teams, and I I did like how undead I was able to get an extra couple of zombies. I was able to get like a couple extra ghouls in there. Maybe I was actually very diverse with what I was able to kind of bring to the table. Sure, I was limited by four skills, but I mean, one has to say, right? I mean, you're gonna have a nice bench. You're gonna have regeneration, so you don't need to buy an apo, right? I mean, doesn't that sound good? Yeah, it, it is definitely good not having to buy an apple. The problem is, the problem with with undead is you're at the mercy of being agility three, and you don't have the skills that humans have, like you know, show hands, pass, catch. You don't have the movement that humans have. So, um, mm. yeah, it's it's a tough a tough thing I, I i really don't don't like that they're, they're good they're good you know don't get me wrong you know they're right. still, they are tier one in NAF, NAF events they are second only to wood elves in in dominance but um i just think getting four skills i just really don't like i don't like taking the risk early basically I, that, that was I see I just and if you're going to take a risk you might as well have four agility by your side yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah at the end of the day wood, wood elves can can I, I literally can't increase the volume of the microphone, which is uh, disappointing. <laughs> so, so what do you think about the the necromantic team? Uh... That's also a race in which, what gets the five general skills, gets the doubles, and they not only that start with basically their entire roster with two werewolves. And the werewolves with claw, right? I mean, you got to think with the meta. Okay, surely there's going to be wood elves. They may be a little bit tougher to stop, but the meta is half kind of humans leaning towards that way. So wouldn't you think that necromantic team, hey, that might be a great team. What? Give us your thoughts. Hey. They were yeah, I, I rock think... hard today. <laughs> and so was my cock. I think, <laughs> I think they're a fine choice. Um, but I don't like Necro, and I've never liked Necro. Oh, so it's a personal choice then. <laughs> so a personal choice where I, I discounted them. Um, also, Claw isn't so important due to the main rivals being humans and, and Wood Elves. There's not that much difference between between 7 and 8, and obviously wasted against the against Wood Elves. And Strength 3 Frenzy is a bit of a double-edged sword. And I don't know. The, the thing is, humans humans start with all the block as well, don't they? Humans, get, like, it's just basically humans being so good <laughs> is what tainted me against all of the other all the other choices. You know, they start with four block and everything. Um, but yeah, yeah, dark elves, dark elves will be good going into the into the later rounds when they got loads of blodges, as, as Ducky says. Um, well, Jimmy, this is a time where we are getting closer to the bracket seating. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly, just quickly go over some of these teams here. We're not going to go over all of them because obviously 64, but we're going to just try to go over some of the more notable names out there. I mean, everyone here is a winner. Don't get me wrong, but it's just due to time constraints. This is the biggest reason why I don't want to go through every one of them. But yeah. hey, don't worry. You will have, hopefully, your time in the sun. I'm going to try to get as many games as possible. Parmini has accepted the ticket, so we can start at any moment. But let's just take a look at the teams here real quick. On the first page, Jimmy, if you're on your Blood Bowl client, yeah. just take a look here. 
Striker OD. <laughs> tell me, tell me, what do you think, sir? Well, I I did look at. It. I know what this is. I looked at it before. <laughs> yeah, it is a death roll. <laughs> It is a death roller, and not only that, a dwarven team. So tell us a little bit what your thoughts on the death roller and the dwarves. Go ahead. <laughs> I think dwarves are all right if they get past the early rounds. I would have just taken four guard so they could fight humans. Um, blocks a good shout though against wood elves, so maybe block and three guard. Um, or three guard and a mighty blow. I, I don't know. I think I would want at least three guard. Um, I would never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> never, take the never, ever, ever, <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Jimmy's thoughts was I would have never, ever, ever done it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well, I see the death roller, and I'm just thinking to myself, hey, he saw the human kind of meta and was like, I'm going to go straight for those guys. So <laughs> I think I think if it was me, I personally would not have chosen humans only because a lot of things kind of just counter me, right? I mean, wood elves are naturally going to be taken, right? There's this, they're the uh, other race that have a lot of... So that's going to be a little bit tough to stop as a human player. And then you got to think, well, there are other teams out there that really crushes me, such as these dwarves, right? That could also be picked for the wood elf hate, but it also hates on the humans. Now, yes, granted, they will be able to outbash them a little bit, but people who brings death rollers to the table. <laughs> it's, just what, it's like, come on, come on. Yeah, and look, at the end of the day, it's not it's not that bad because he's still got 11 players. So, you know, mm -hmm. he's unlikely to take Kaz or KOs being, you know, armor 9, thick skull for the most part. So so mm -hmm. there's really a good chance of it, you know, him not being down men and he's got two re-rolls. No apothecary. It's not, it's not that expensive to have it with the extra 100k for the team. It's actually not that expensive to have it. I don't actually hate it as much as I said, actually. And if he gets a double, if he wins the first game and gets a diving tackle on it, it becomes absolutely unbelievably good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, or maybe even better yet, what a block on Death Roller, right? I mean, yeah, but there's a, there's a guy, I, I can't remember his name, but he, uh, he plays tabletop. He's, he's, like, he's quite high ranked. And he always takes the death roll and puts diamond tackle on it when he can. And, oh yeah, um, okay, wow. Yeah. All right, well let's take, let's take a look at another team real quick though. <laughs> uh, we could we could talk for ages about this dwarf and death roll, but let's go on. <laughs> Norus high elf team, one of the few high elves in there. Uh -huh. So this is another race here that will gain five skills, and then the doubles. Tell me what you think. Well, this is. This is my problem with it. He's he's got the guard on the catcher, which is armor seven unprotected, and he can only mm -hmm. give it block or dodge after the second game, because after the first game he's got another double, hasn't he? Which will probably mm -hmm. go to either the tackle mighty blow or the the dodge catcher to have dodge guard. So I guess he'll end up with two dodge guarders. Um, it's all right, but it's not wood elves, <laughs> right? <laughs> It's like if you're gonna do this, man, why didn't you just pick the wood elves, right? Kind of, kind of that feeling, yeah. That's that's my that's my opinion of how. I mean, to be fair, high elves are more; they're not dark elves. They do get quite a lot more skills than dark elves, but you know, and they are faster than dark elves. But then, if you take a lot of catches, you, then you're more like a wood elf team. And wood elves are just so good, and uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right they're just so good okay enough said yeah. all right let's let's just uh go to ducky's team real quick wood elf team right ducky one of the more notable coaches from the pc cabal vision champions cup a winner of quite a number of teams there so what do you think of ducky yeah it's um it's it the team is exactly the same as mine tackle strip mm -hmm. tree leader block catcher so we've taken exactly the same build, exactly the same skills. The only thing is, he's gone for a reroll and an apothecary, and I've gone for two rerolls. And right. yeah, that's that's essentially one of the three ways you can. Hmm, three ways, three ways you can build them. You can go reroll apple, right. two rerolls, or drop the tree and go two rerolls and an apple. And mm -hmm. it's safe. It's safer to have the apothecary, but. 
he does, you know, he's going to have to play very conservatively with only two rerolls because uh, of the leader. Right. And when one of the right. one of the rerolls is a leader, so if that leader, he's got to protect his leader a lot more. So the, the, when you've got three, when you've got two plus a leader, you can use one reroll quite early and then not care so much about your thrower. Ducky's going to have to, you know, not use one early because he's only got two and protect his thrower quite, you know, a decent amount. So it's going to be. It's going to be more challenging to not have the the secondary role, but then of course he's got the reward of if he randomly gets a ward answer cast or knocked out, he can get him back. And, uh... I tell you what, Jimmy, you're making my job so easy because you're just saying everything I was going to say, <laughs> and so you know that's that's precisely the reason why I wanted you on here because you're so knowledgeable. I mean, you you you're definitely one of those guys that I've said it once before. I've said it before. You know, it's just. I mean, if you guys want to learn something about Blow Bowl, Jimmy, you, you know, the, you're the man to go to. Oh, Obviously, yeah, uh, you know, you're you're a man that's, you know, you got to grow to love. But, I mean, once you do, it's just like, wow, you, you are definitely quite knowledgeable and quite good at this game here. So, Thanks, kudos Jimmy. to this man here. All right, let's go ahead. Enough of this sucking up. <laughs> let's go on and let's take a look here. The only Norse team here, the True Blue, nips out for Nuffle. What do you think of the Norse? Only one Norse team. Yep, that's only one. Ah, um, I don't know where he is. He is the true blue. Nips out for Nuffle. Is he on the front page? I can't find him. Uh, second page for me? I, I don't know. It may have mixed it for you. I, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yes, I found him. Nips out okay, for great. Nuffle. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so objectively, it's it's got a mighty blow tackler with Frenzy. A block ulf, a dodge runner, um, thirteen guys, two rerolls apple. It's 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 not so bad, but mm -hmm. it's not humans. <laughs> it's not humans. <laughs> and uh, the That's, true blue. Is but like, I mean, look, they start with block for everybody, right? Hey, we got block guys, and we got ulf runners with four strength, right? Hey, hey, yeah, they no? do have a, they do have a lot of block. You know, they've got that going for them. Um, but yeah, yeah they they need guard. I, I would have I would have picked some guard there probably. Um, I say probably. I would have probably picked four guard. <laughs> um, but... Looks like though he went for a bit of a uh, mighty blow tackle situation there, and then blodge for the runner so for the ball carrying. But I think perhaps would have been a little bit better off, like you said, with the humans, where you could maybe get someone here with a little bit more guard, and you can start with the ogre and here. The Yeti is kind of missing from the from the picture here. Yeah, yeah, Yeti. I would have had the Claw Mighty Blow Yeti as well. Yeah, probably only really three guards and a Claw Mighty Blow Yeti could give him blocker piling on then as well, couldn't you? Yeti, just go all in on the Yeti, see if he rolls some dice. I mean, that to me, that's the reason to go Norse, just to just to get a Yeti and and do dumb things with it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the True Blue, I believe, he was the Reb Roll qualifier, wasn't he? Uh, he he was, I believe so. Yeah, so that's good for him that he's he's there, and so yeah, that's <laughs> cool, isn't it? But uh, I think he maybe should have gone humans just because this team, every bash team, I'm like, just humans are better though, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I mean, you, you can't you can't fault him for going with a, a team that starts with block. And the nice thing is that once you're able to put some more skills on them. And if they do make it more to the finals, then they'll look pretty good, right? They'll look pretty solid. No, oh, yeah, and you'll, you'll, you know, you can do fine against any team. It's not like it's not like there's a huge gulf between teams. Like you know, any any, any team could win it. Um, even even the death roller one. Any 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 single team could win. This any of these teams will win. And and that's what you said before, even in the Discord chat, where you said, well, the way that the single elimination World Cup stands, anyone could win it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look here at Stringer Bell's team here. He's uh, a notable North American coach. Uh, in my opinion, one of the one of the best. Um, you know, there's there's a few out there that are good, but he he really stands out in my mind all the time. So, what do you think of this team here, Necromantic? Um, I actually I actually had a test game against I believe this exact team more or less. It was more or less this exact team. Um, Wolfbark mm -hmm. was piloting it with a with a. With a wrestle werewolf and a block mighty blow one, um, mm -hmm. 
it does get better the more the more skills it gets. It's a bit skill light at first, despite having six. Just because I hate to say it, but the human teams start with four block and <laughs> two dodge and a strength five guy. They're already you know so they're starting with a mighty blow. They're all starting with loads of stuff. Although yeah. these guys are getting lots of skills, they're not starting with lots of skills. So I would have liked to have seen more than one guard. Um, I think you're starting with the double, so you've got to, you've got to take a block, mighty blow, werewolf. I guess you could just go mighty blow and then take piling on later, but right. that's really risky. And you'd really don't want to make strength three frenzy blocks without block or wrestle. So I think you've you've almost got the skill level, which leaves you really bad for everything else. And I just think they're a bit ropey the first few rounds. But if they get through it and they get, you know, guard on the fleshies, guard on the whites, um, mighty blow on both wolves. Um, only one ghoul. I would have had two ghouls for sure. Um, I don't know for what sure. you would have had to change. Uh, go to 12. Well, players. I mean, the, the nice thing, though, right? I mean, the necromancy team, like I, I've, I have said it earlier in the show, but but uh, I mean, the nice thing about the necromancy team, they, they can get a lot of extra guys right just in case you get bashed down you can get a couple of zombies extra and then not only that the necromancer right i mean you don't have to worry about the apo yeah yeah it is good you kind of like save a bit of money by by not having it but then you mm -hmm. pay it by you're paying over the odds massively for the flesh golems really and uh even the zombies should be cheaper like they're really bad although they're cheap and survivable um uh, they're really bad, aren't they? You know, for the <laughs> minus two movement and minus one agility for ten k, that's that's a that's a huge penalty when you compare them with a human lineman. So, and and that's what yeah. I don't like about them. They really are at the mercy of the dice. If they lose, they've only got five agility three players. If they lose one or two yeah. of those, they really they really struggle. And, and it's easy to, to oh, lose yeah. them. All right, let's take a look at Philidius, Right, I mean the guy who's what. Kind of broke the World Cup a little bit. Let it qualify for three, four, <laughs> three, four tickets. What's going on here? Lizard <laughs> Man team. So we haven't talked about the Lizard Man team. We're going to see another one a little bit later on. But what do you think of Lizard Man in general and Philidius? Um Well, did, was it three North American leagues he qualified from? Um, I don't know. I think Philidius, one of them was a Rebel ticket, I think. No. Um, and then... I'm not sure about it. I mean, I have to look at it. Look at I, it I know again. one was New Ogham, which I believe is a I believe that's an American league. Um, I, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna offend anybody. Like, you know, certain console people. You offend? What? Are you, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> certain console people think that I've offended. You know, I'm, I'm out there. Hate, I hate consoles. If I say anything about, you know, North American <laughs> coaches, maybe not being of the same strength and depth, shall we say, of European then maybe I'll defend them but uh, I do think maybe the American qualifiers were weaker than the than the European qualifiers but you know still to win three out of three he's obviously knows what he's doing and was pretty right. lucky um, <laughs> he's pretty lucky yeah, there's, there's a lot of luck involved you know there's a lot of luck involved I, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell what the three leagues that I was in I will, not, I will not I will not doubt you on that yeah, you know, look, no, look, I, I won two out of the three leagues, the qualifiers I entered, I won two out of three, uh, well, qualified two out mm -hmm. of three, and I was really lucky in two of them and really unlucky in one, so, you know, that's, <laughs> you've got to be a bit lucky to qualify, simple as that, you're not going to get unlucky and not, and you know, and qualify, basically, uh, but three yeah. blocking guard is fine, I can see why he wanted some guard, um, the, the usual NAF standard is like five block Saurus and a guard Crocs, or six block Saurus. So I'm a bit surprised that he went guard on a Saurus rather than guard on a Crocs, especially as you can stack on the, on the Crocs, making him block guard would be even better. Um, oh, yeah. But I guess, oh no, you're not going to take doubles on him. Your doubles are going on the skings for block sure hands. So a little bit surprised it's not guard on the Crocs and then three block or just four block. Ah, uh, okay. And then, um, but otherwise, a pretty, solid, a pretty solid crew there. So, but what do you think of Lizardmen in general? They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're still they're still good, but but starting with two or three less block than they normally would, it's, it is going to yeah. be tough for them the first couple of the first round, especially the first round. If they if they get wood elves, they're going to struggle. Um, after that, they will catch up to the uh, to the other teams for sure. Especially humans, they'll catch up to. Um, well, but I'm, what I'm about the uh, no apo situation? 
I'm really surprised he went a skink instead of an apple because he could apple an early KO'd Saurus or Crocs would be much more value than having a reserve skink in my opinion. So yeah, I'm okay. About that. Sorry about that. You were you were just about to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. So he went with the extra skink and new Apo. So yeah, that's. Uh, we'll see how that's gonna work out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go ahead. Okay, and let's take a look here at um, Spartaco's team, the Wood Elf team. I mean, it's going to be a real quick one because I don't think he's a little bit more deviated from what you've said before. But Spartaco, let's just talk about the man himself. What, what do you think? He's back. I'm looking and he's playing Wood Elves. Um, what do you think um, of his chances? Well, he's got. Oh, he's obviously got a good chance, hasn't he? He's gone the same, the same roster as myself and Ducky. Um, he's gone mm -hmm. two rerolls the same as me. But he has gone wrestle on a lineman instead of block on the catcher, which is which is a fine mm -hmm. choice. You know, it, it's really hard to between wrestle, block, and dodge on the linos, and, and all three of them are good. Um, and I went block on the catcher so he can, I can have a blodge guarder um, right. after the first round. So it's obviously a bit of a risk for the first round. Maybe he's a wrestle lineman would be better than a block catcher round one. Maybe, but still close. Um, but then I think definitely having guard on a blodger is better than having guard on a dodger and then a wrestler. So um, ah, yeah, he's 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 been number one in NAF tabletop before in the world. So um, he, yeah, he's obviously good. He I thought he was the best player in the first World Cup. Um, right. But when he played Guinness, he was he was pretty unlucky. And now this isn't <laughs> this isn't a, a slight in Guinness at all. You know, if if somebody else had been if he'd been that unlucky against somebody else, he would have still won. But um, right. you know, Guinness was good enough that when he was he was unlucky, he lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. He's he's definitely one of those teams in which you would have thought that perhaps. It would have been one-sided, but it was a best of three, right? So, I mean, Guinness did earn it. No, oh, yeah, it's again, it's it's nothing against uh, Guinness whatsoever. Oh yeah, he went frenzy instead of tackle. That's that's a common thing. Um, How's the uh, Oh yeah, yeah. end zone on fumble. He 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 likes frenzy on a dancer. I I, I like it, but um, I also like having control of my dancer. So, and I think especially when you pair it with mighty blow in this format, I think it becomes better. Mighty blow. He might go juggernaut. He might he might be thinking frenzy juggernaut, you know. Okay, so let's go ahead. Since uh, let's see here, um, there's so many wood elves. Like, I'm trying not to pick pick the wood elves and humans so much because we've kind of already kind of beaten it to death a little bit. So, but let's just go ahead and take a look at another favorite of the tournament. And um, you know, personal feelings aside, I, I I I know some things are going on, but you know, let's let's put that aside and let's talk about um, Andy Davos' Dark Elf team on page six. <laughs> wow! Yes, indeed. So obviously, um, people know that I like Andy Davos' uh, play style. He's got great blood bowl sense. You know, he's definitely earned his way as well. Number two player in the NAFS scene with the Dark Elf team, and of course, he's going to pick it here today. So let's talk a little bit about Dark Elves and, you know, just professionally speaking, Andy Davo, <laughs> Blood Bowl game. Um, yeah, they're good. They're good if they surround the early. If they survive the early rounds, they're they're a good choice. They're just a little bit. Uh, they're just a little bit poor of the first rounds, and they're still not poor. Like they're still good the first rounds. They're not. They're not bad. It's just they're a little bit lacking early. Um, so if he wins the first, obviously he's he's the kind of person who thinks. He's the best player in the world by a mile, and he only ever loses because he's the, the most. Un in fact, even when he wins, he thinks he's the most unlucky person in the world. When he's out bashing orcs with dark elves, he thinks he's the unluckiest man in the world. So he thinks he's he's far and away better than everyone else. So he thinks he'll win the first few games, and then they'll become but good. But so. isn't that always true of the best players in the no. world in anything, right? Even in chess, right? I mean, like say like Bobby Fischer, right? I mean, he's he thought he was the best player in the world by a mile. And you know, even the Andy all these Davo other is not great... the best player in the world by a mile, but no, it's quite the opposite, <laughs> actually. I think in Blood Bowl, I think people yeah, well, like myself and Jellyel, um, whenever we do something wrong, we think, What could I have done better? and Andy right. Devo just tends to blame the dice, but there you go. Um, anyway, uh, 
<laughs> Ignoring <laughs> that, I, I do think he's he's you know he thinks he's going to win the first two games, whatever happens. And so mm. if I, if I thought that way, if I thought I was definitely going to get the final, then you know I would I would I would think about going what else. But even then, they're not clearly better than than uh, sorry, dark. Well, whatever. I don't think dark elves are are just better than wood elves after right. six games. So it's not like they're definitely better. He just likes them. So you know. No, yeah, yeah definitely. Day. I I don't blame the man. I love dark elves as well. And I even said it on air. I was saying. Look, if I was playing the World Cup, I would have probably gone Dark Elf. But after playing with all the teams in the last few days, I actually would have picked the Skaven team because I just like playing these kind of quick Skaven teams, four gutter runners, just load up the skills on those guys and just let them fly. But, I mean, Dark Elves, they're going to have the runner. No need to really worry about sure hands, right? Uh, strip ball. Yeah. I mean... They're, they're just, a good counter to. They are a good counter to Wood Elves, really, and you know, obviously, mm -hmm. you knew people were going to be taking Wood Elves. They're not so good in round one or two or maybe three against mm -hmm. humans, but eventually they'll. They, you know, once they got two guard and they've got loads of blood up, they'll they'll be hard for the humans to handle. Absolutely, and like yeah, they, they don't need to do anything crazy to win. They can they can one nil grind people without really any effort. You know, they can just dodge everyone away and. And you know, go in the banks of the elf screen, and they're not really. You don't have to go high risk with them or anything. Okay, so let's enough about uh, Andy Diver. Let's talk about the only Chaos Dwarf team, also on page six, Tor three thousand five. What do you think here? <laughs> Did you think you would see the day after watching Christopher fail horribly in the first round, the Invitational, and here you see it again, a Minotaur with yeah. a couple of blue bull centaurs. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Um, it's gonna be rough. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, break tackle show hands. So he's got. I mean, that's pretty decent against the uh, war dancers, isn't it? He'll he'll be able to. Uh, you know, if he picks it up, they can't they can't strip him, and they'll be uphilling him. Whatever happens, um, the other one block probably will go break tackle at some point. One guard, which is more than Crucifer managed <laughs> 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 on his team, so. It's probably a better team than Christopher's. Only 11 men. Uh, the Mino, I think, is kind of necessary to get that bit of strength against against like mm -hmm. the Bash teams. Uh, two rerolls and an Apple's light. It's it's just I just think it's a really bad format for Chops. I'm not surprised mm -hmm. to only see one. I mean, in a way, I'm surprised to see one. I think it's a very poor format for Chops. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely it is, and that's kind of what I was saying before. Tier 1.5 probably should have been considered for this format but again we were trying to keep it simple for you know the talking heads up top and so tier one tier two tier three guys that's how it's going to be but maybe we'll have a little bit of a change maybe if there's another world cup in the next couple of years i don't know mm -hmm. um so uh, let's just uh finish off here with um I forget which team is it I want to take a look at here. Oh, let's let's take a look at here at um, Jimmy Fantastic's Wood Elf team. I know you kind of covered it many a times over, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. why don't no. you just give, give – why don't you tell us what you think about this man, you know, just professionally, you know, and, oh. and just <laughs> – He's definitely the most <laughs> honest and uh, the most honest streamer. Uh, we would probably tied with VGP for the most honest streamer, actually. Oh, yeah. And obviously, oh, thank you, thank you. You know, he, he always tells it how it is, even if it might ruffle some feathers. Um, just a standard, standard what else team. I did think of the second game getting guard, and that's why I went block catcher, which normally I would have gone a dodge line or a wrestle line or but I was thinking okay. of winning my first game and getting a blood guard. <laughs> uh, we could look at Guinness, seeing he's the champ. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at Guinness, though. Um, I was going to get to him in just a second. He is the 2016 World Cup, and he's back again. Guinness. And he's doing it with the Lizard team. And you know what? A couple of years ago, the meta was, hey, let's go with Dwarves, guys, because we have to start with fresh team value. And, of course, Dwarves... And also, not only that, but the semifinals and the grand finals, they were best of three. So you figure armor value nine, lots of tackle, lots of mighty blow, sure. Well, not mighty blow, but, uh, you know, just you're just able to just dominate just about anything, right? But then Lizard Team came along from Guinness and not only just one, but one in a big way. What do you think of this 
Guinness professionally. <laughs> let's talk about that, and let's talk about the Lizard team again in this format. Yeah, Jim, I think I think he's done an interesting thing of utilizing the stacking in game one. Not many people stacked in game one. Um, the the obvious one is is werewolves for block mighty blow, um, and and he's done something with this team that you can't do in tabletop. Well, tabletop NAF events usually, which is which is stacking and getting tackle on the team. You know, they normally just go six block, and they are going to get more skills as the tournament goes on. So we will get eventually six block Saurus and uh, a block skink mm -hmm. as well, presumably. So I, I kind of like that he's got the block tackle because they do struggle against Amazons horribly. They struggle against Wood Elves. So now he's going to get a block tackler to put people down. You know, seventy five percent mm -hmm. of the time with with consistency and uh, three rerolls Apple I prefer yeah. to the reserve so yeah I think it's a I think it's a fine chance he is obviously somewhat at the mercy of one in nines with only three block players but I, I can see I can see the merits of going the block tackle for sure yeah definitely all right well then you know obviously um, I think Guinness you know last time I rooted for him the entire way and to me, I just felt like he was going to win the whole thing. I I knew that there were some players that were stronger, maybe even um, more solid than he was, but I felt like his game was just enough crazy with a mix of just enough solid to get that going. And, and I'm really excited to have him back here today because having him come back, and not only that, I actually had asked the tournament directors, hey, can we just give Guinness a ticket? straight up just to defend his title and they were like no he needs to earn it and you know what he's absolutely earned it and he's back and i think i think what he really wants to do is make sure that everyone knows that look the first time wasn't a fluke north america we're bringing it back <laughs> certainly some people may say north american strength not as good maybe maybe yourself too jimmy but there still are great players coming oh, out of here, right? I, I didn't say there weren't good <laughs> players there, you know. It's it's just strength and depth, isn't it? That's It's the same with Oh, console. yeah, it's the depth. It's it, the depth. It's not that console players are worse. It's just that there's there's just not as many of them, isn't there? <laughs> That's all it is. It's as simple <laughs> as that. It's just literally as simple as that. <laughs> so, like, Indeed. for every... What is there? Drick, Durun, um, Bernie... Uh, oh, Zoane. Blade... Uh, Zola, Chelsea Zola, yeah, I'm trying. But for no, no Slayer. But then there's there's like twenty like that on PC, isn't there? So it's not like it's not saying there's wor they're worse. There's just less of them. <laughs> That's not. Being, <laughs> it's not being nasty, is it? <laughs> no, it's, it's it's definitely true. I mean, I will say that much is that when when you look at the North American strength in general, right? I mean, like, let's say it's a war. You take out the front line people and the reserves just has no chance, right? I mean, who's who's going to bring up the line? Nobody. Yeah, so well, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah, when you think the, yeah. the, the PC coaches that haven't qualified are like, uh, you know, Shawnee and, uh, well, well, just straight away, the, the, the invitation itself, there were five from PC and three from console, you know, even there, well, kind of two from console. And five from PC, and while it was the two from the console that qualified, um, you know there's, there was just more from PC, wasn't there? Doesn't mean they were better. <laughs> and, and they all, all right. Anyway, well, then sure. we are getting to that time in the show. We are about to hit the start competition. Oh, glorious! Before I hit this, right? Okay. Before I hit this, Jimmy, is there is there any team, any team that you looked at, any coach? that you do not want to be paired with? The striker OD and his, his death roll. The <laughs> striker OD, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. It's afraid of the USA. <laughs> no, I don't want anyone who's good. Anyone, anyone with a win percentage of 70% or more on Champs Ladder, or even 60% or more on Champs Ladder. What I want right. is somebody who's really, really bad. And they've just got the lucky. They've been the luckiest person in the world ever <laughs> to qualify for the World Cup. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> world Cup hype coming up, guys. Oh, sorry, striker. Try not to spam the uh, the chat too much. <laughs> oh man! All right, guys. This is it. This is it. Start competition. I'm not gonna nub it up and accidentally not you know pair it up. <laughs> that would kind of suck. So here we go, guys. To start it off, we're going to start off with Jimmy's team because, you know, he's in the chat channel, and so I'm sure 
he's gonna go straight away to it. So let's just check out uh, check out Jimmy's team real quick. What's what's your uh, team name again, Jimmy? Um, Blood Bowl's coming, home, coming right? home. Blood Bowl's coming home. So uh, after we do that, then we're just gonna take a look at each of the matchups real quick and just kind of give us quick thoughts and then we'll end it guys all right so starting competition do you want to create automatic seating of the teams yes i do here we go guys for the 2018 world cup we are having at it here we go guys <laughs> oh boy oh uh, yes indeed and i'm gonna get a signal too because i put it in a proxies team but um Let's see, I'm looking for your team, Jimmy. Worst possible matchup. Worst possible matchup. Here. Even worse than Death Roller Dwarves. It's non oh. Death Roller Dwarves. <laughs> Blood Bowls coming home, taking on WC Guardians of Ashagal. And it is going to be Ashagal's team. Whoa, Ashagal. Let's see here. Where's he at? Let's check out that matchup. Now we know that Jimmy's Fantastic has a Wood Elf team, and he kind of doesn't want to go against likely a bash team like dwarves and things like that that would kind of suck but luckily it's a resurrection tournament yeah yeah but uh where it's not going to help me in the game it's the only uh, team that uh would have a team. winning winning record against in in naf style tournaments <laughs> it was literally Ashikol. the worst possible matchup race Ashikol, yes it is a dwarven team oh boy that that's a tough matchup three guard and loads of tackle yeah. How you feeling? How you feeling, Jimmy? Give us, give us your first thoughts. Feels bad, man. I've got a very good chance of going out first round. Oh the, no! The good thing is, if I don't go out first round and I get half my team killed, at least I'll get them all back for the second game. Like if it was, if it was last World Cup, I would have been completely mm -hmm. screwed. Because even if I'd won, <laughs> I would have gone through. Yeah. With, with you know, yeah, you would have been half your team, and then uh, now what, right? Yeah. So. Um... <laughs> So it, yeah, it, it, nowhere near as bad as it is. It is it could have been at least the format is res. Um, the problem here is I've got the coaches' names, but I haven't got the team names. So yeah, yeah. Looking. At so the, we're, we're, let me. Um, I'm actually going to fix my challenge and then see if I can get that going there. But um, let's just talk about the first matchup there: Drick Zassens and Zeitgeist. So just kind of go down the list. So. Go ahead and take a look there. Drick's Assassins and Zeitgeist. So Drick is going to be from the PS4. Let me get to the participants here. Oh, that's Stringer Bell. Oh, that's a big match, isn't it? That is a big match. That's a big matchup right there. Drick's Assassins versus Stringer Bell. Yeah. Yeah. And as I said before, one of the notable North American coaches. Yeah, Stringer, Stringer Bell, Bell, very good. Um, 67% win rate um, in Champs Ladder. And Drick has a 71% win rate in Champs Ladder. So, you know, um, they've got that going. Thank for you them. for that follow, Avisa, as a uh, Vucifer. That's good, that, isn't it? It's good that I've got, it's good that I've got my BZL information. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm fixing up the challenge right now, guys. So, so just uh, bear with. Yeah, so that, and that's, then, a, that's uh, an interesting game. I think it... Yeah. Teams wise, it favors Wood Elves for sure because the claw is no good on the two wolves. So yeah. um, he's only got one guard, so he's not going to be able to cage very well. He's got a blood. So this Wood Elves versus Necro Drick. here. Yeah. So, so I think Drick's favorite for that, but but Stringer Bell is very good for sure. I've I've played him before, and he is mm -hmm. he is very good. Yeah, for sure. Indeed. All right. So next matchup. The Purple Mountain Majesties versus the Super Sentai Elves. So there's High Elves. And then Purple Mountain Majesties, where, where are they Nuru. there? Nuru qualified from Rebel, I remember. And oh, Nuru. He, didn't, he didn't actually. He he was he was fifth in Rebel. And uh, but then he didn't you take the Rebel ticket? Oh yeah, you took you took the Rebel ticket, right? Yeah. And then yeah, Nuru couldn't the qualify from yeah. there. But he qualified from an another area, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So okay, well, that's good for him. Because it all it all came out complicated once he won that. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing you took the rebel ticket then, because otherwise Nura would have had a couple of uh, tickets there. Yeah. And who are the Purple Mountain Majesties? Sounds like an American. Yes, Striker OD, his dwarf, oh, his dwarven team. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> 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 I 
death roll. <laughs> the death roller dwarf team taking on the high elf team. I bet you the high elves could not be more displeased. <laughs> oh, dude, that's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the dwarves could win that. You know, high elves were a bit crap. <laughs> <laughs> they a bit crap. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. They're, they're not the best race. Uh, Nuru's obviously good. I mean, everyone's good, aren't they, to an extent, to have qualified for the World Cup. Indeed. Uh, so, but yeah, the, the, you know, it could just demolish him. Like that's the thing, you know. I, th I just don't want to get the reason that I said I wanted to avoid the uh, the the death roll of the team is because I just don't want to get diced, and that he's got the biggest dicing potential of anybody, hasn't he? With a strength mm. fucking seven guy. Oops, sorry, Swall. Um, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> but he is string seven, and you Magazine. just can't stop him. You just can't stop him three dicing somebody with my blow every single time. <laughs> and then he's gonna throw out three die every time, and he's gonna be murdering people with spikes. That's just ouch. That's just not fair. Unbelievable. All right, next next up, um, it is a uh, wood elf team. The early birds taking on the undead team of wolf bark, Ooh. and the wood elf team is Gade Nix. Oh god, I've gone, I've gone wrong here. All right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes, the early yeah. birds, G'day Nick. Ah, G'day Nick, he's, uh, he's often in the stream. He's gone for leader, block catcher. So he's gone exactly the same team as me, actually. Exactly the same team as I've built. Um, and well, That means he's going to win, right? I mean, he took... <laughs> it's like he uh, peered into your... Your uh, your profile was like, you know what, Jimmy's going that way. I might as well go that way. Maybe. And Wolfbark's good and dead, has he? Wolfbark's good. Well, you've said that you've practiced against him, right? I mean, yeah, so... he, he, beat, he didn't beat me. We drew 2-2. Two, two. He had Necro and I had uh, Woodies. Oh. Um, so Wolfbark, no slouch. It just seems missing a lot, you know. A tackle, a wrestle, a block, and a guard. It doesn't... It doesn't scream power to me. He does have a, he does have four sexist zombies, which is brilliant. Um, you can't beat sexist zombies. Mm. He could have maybe he's gone to thirteen players and only had three goals. I could see the merits of that, um, so he could foul in overtime ah, and stuff. S Sage has gone crazy and gone fourteen players. I think that's too many. But I think yes, three goals would have been all right. But four, obviously. Look, he's he's planning on dodging them all if he stays in the competition. Lodging or lodging them all. If, if, he, if he gets no. through, he'll, he'll do well. But um, Woody's are going to be a test for sure. Very true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and, and I, it's not, the screen's not frozen. I am actually trying to fix the challenge at the moment. So actually, if Jimmy's looking at the teams, take a look at Jimmy's screen real quick. But I mean, maybe I should fix the challenge afterwards. This is, I, I think that's probably more prudent. So I'll fix the challenge afterwards so that everyone will see the matchups a little easier. So then, let's just take a look at the next one here. So it's uh, uh, what's it? Anoramic eighty one oh two versus the Morasso Expedition. <laughs> so we got to find the Anoramic Expedition. This is the tough thing about scrolling through like massive amounts of pages to find people's teams. Yeah. Too bad it's not in alphabetical order. Huh? Our human team. Here, here's the Morasso Expedition on uh, page three or something. Phase three. I believe so. Yeah, he's got a he's got a human team stand. I think yeah. every human team will be built exactly the same base way. Um, you think so? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, it's the only way to build it. Three re rolls, two catches. Yeah. Thrower. Three re -rolls. Ogre, four two blitzers. catches. Yeah. The four blitzers. Three of them will guard. One of them would at least tackle. And of course, the block and the ogre. One of them's gonna have the uh, mighty blow on there. Oh, he's actually, it's not, he's not, he's got an extra alignment instead of an apple. But I thought most people would have the apple in three rerolls. So he's, his is actually slightly different after saying that. <laughs> slightly different. <laughs> well, did he forget to get it? Because he can go to 12, no, wait. I thought he can go to 1280, right? Um, yeah, no, he's, he's got 13 players total instead of 12. Mostly they'll be 12, but he's gone 13 ah. instead of the apple. Oh, okay. Let me get rid of the. Um... Yeah, I want. I, I want to. I want to be able to apple a, a guard guy or a mighty blow tackle guy or an ogre. So I, I don't like, you know, a, a random line. It means he can foul, I guess, if that's his bag. But three guard, a block, and a block mate and a tackle mighty blow is. Uh, 
Yeah, we're still going to see some different human lineups, I'll tell you that much. And then Ungern also with the human team, right? Anaramic 8102 on, I think, page six. All right. So it's Ungern's team. <clears throat> and uh, he went a little bit different there. He went with guard catcher and then a guard ogre without the uh, the doubles. Where is the doubles? I guess he didn't go with the doubles. The guard is the, is the double there on the catcher. Um, is it? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. That is yeah. the that is nearly the team I would have gone with. The, the human team I would have gone with would have just been uh, would have just been five guard, uh, guard on the guard on the catcher, guard on the ogre, guard on three blitzers, and just a tackle blitzer. Because you could always take mighty blow on the tackle blitzer later. I thought after the first round. Um, but yeah, and he's gone for thirteen players, dropping a reroll for it. So I'm not a fan of these thirteen man teams. I think three rerolls in an apple is so good. Um, the I'm surprised that two people. Yeah, two I'm. People I'm really surprised at this. Actually, um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of this. Putting just the guard on the ogre, I, I would rather kind of see the block on the ogre. I mean, we've seen how great it is on the invitational, the invitational cup where block on the ogre kind of saved them so many times. True, but and also it, it led to uh, Bernie activating it a lot against Shawnee. He activated oh, it, yeah. and there was times he when he wouldn't have activated it. it if it didn't have block. But he went, he went for the activation, boneheaded, and it could have cost him on another day. Could have cost him. It absolutely could have. So, yeah. Right. It's a double-edged sword, so. wanting to activate him all the time. Although, obviously, it makes him a lot more reliable. These are all in order, aren't they? So, so that these all play each other in the second round and stuff, if they win. Ah, interesting. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to win the first round anyway, so I don't need to think about who I might play later. <laughs> I think I'll be going home. Blood Bowl will be going home after the first round. <laughs> right. Dark Baguette de Leon versus the Bashiest World Cup team. That's got to be humans, the Bashiest World Cup team. Always jump. Well, how about a refreshing glass of Bloodweiser? Are you still there, VGP? Is VGP gone? And there's still, I mean, uh, well, yeah, maybe there's still, or maybe even. I can hear him. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of whispering. Um, I can't hear VGP anymore on Discord. Um. <laughs> I did not lose Jimmy. We're so... in the uh, channel together. Aha, I can hear you now. Okay, great. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to you just wanted to just say something behind my back, right? <laughs> Don't worry. No. Absolutely. Not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> no, you know what though? That's that's the thing about you, Jimmy. I know you would I mean, that's just one of those things you would probably never do. It's just like you would say it to their face. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't hold anything back. Absolutely. That's what I like about you, Jimmy. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I can't find. I can't find this team. Parmenian's on the uh, fifth page for Dark Elf. All right. I'm. I'm sorry. Fourth page. Fourth page. And the Dark Elves. Dark Baguette de Lyon. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it makes sense that they're dark. But then they've got a white outfit. Um, dodge, dodge, wrestle. He's only got one witch. Controversial. I mean, I guess controversial. Yeah. Ah, but then I guess he's 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 just got to choose. Oh no, it's it's not actually. It's not my initial my initial build was two witches, three blitzers. But there's really not right. a lot of difference between one witch and four blitzers, and two witches and three blitzers, is there? Um, yeah, I believe that if I was if like I said before, if I was 
going to play a Dark Elf team, and I actually did create a bunch of teams, I, I probably would have done something similar. I would have went with one Witch Elf with the four Blitzers, two of them with Blodge, and then Witch Elf with the Wrestle, and then the runner with either Nerves of Steel, Acrid, or the Leader ability. Yeah, I, I, would have, I would have been tempted to keep the runner naked for game one. And maybe just four dodge ah. blitzers, and then you've got four blodge, haven't you? The, the witch elf without a skill would be horrible. No, you couldn't yeah. do that. Three dodge on the blitzers and a wrestle on the witch. That'd be a pretty good start, actually. And then yeah, that's, that's what I would have done, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not a bad team. And um, then he is playing against who's he playing against now? He was playing against the the Bashiest team, which I believe is the human team. And I know it is the human team because. I think he was being tongue in cheek. I think I yeah. think that's Veliopius. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit of a meme with humans being the bashiest team. It is Veliopia. He's just won champs ladder with, with human, hasn't he? And he did just win the PC champs ladder, beating Crucifer's killer chorf team and then another lizard team that was killer. I mean, what do you think of this guy? He's he's a hero, isn't he? He's an absolute hero. He's, he's an absolute human hero. <laughs> he 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 took Blood Ball home. <laughs> <laughs> he took Blood Bowl home. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. About the block on the thrower makes it is good against Woody's three guard and a tackle is pretty standard on the on the on the four blitzers, and then he's used mm -hmm. his double on on the ogre as block, which is again standard. He's gone twelve players three plus one, which is which is the only build I expected to see. So, um, I right, except he, he did. Yeah, the thrower does have block. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he'll win. I mean, without without putting too oh, much you like pressure that on him. Uh, humans no, no pressure, Veliopia, but Jimmy says you're going to win that one, guys. <laughs> yeah, the one After I'm... winning the PC Cup, he better, right? Yeah, the Dark Elves are a bit weak game one, and uh, humans are a bit strong game one. So, But there's still agility three versus agility four, so you never know what's going to happen to you. Plus, there's lots of luck involved in Blood Bowl anyway. <laughs> True that. Franco Bowl stars, okay, and taking on the Essex Sabres. So Frankable stars, I don't know, that doesn't hit me right off the bat. <laughs> Essex and the thing is, though, you would think I would memorize all this stuff because I had to look through, I had to take screenshots, I had to go through people's stuff, I had to like make sure that they were legal. Oh man, like that's why I kind of remember most of these teams, all but not all of us. Well, Pace 3 is the human team of Blades, Essex Sabres. Yep. Yeah, I, I remember that from when I was looking at. Uh, I, I I did a bit of spying on the teams, and uh, I, I I saw that team. It it's absolutely fine. Um, block right, and then... tackle mighty blow on three guard. I think this is another standard human team. You know, this standard is standard human. Is yeah, obvious obvious build to take. I think the most obvious human build is tackle on one blitzer and three guard on, on the other blitzers. I think right. every human team has to have that. And then the other two, block is an obvious choice in the ogre, but guard on the catcher is an alternate. And then then your other skill is either going to be block or guard or mighty blow or whatever. So yeah, absolutely. True. Absolutely good team. Well built team. And, uh... I know, a dance. I just, I just hate typing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if I'm annoying you. <laughs> okay, so Frankable Stars, they're the undead team of Silse. So I don't know anything about Silse. He just appeared in the World Cup. No, I, I, I could tell you. I could tell you something about him. He's please, please do. He's got a record of eighteen, twelve, fifteen on Champs Ladder, which is only a fifty-three percent win rate. Oh. And he's mostly okay. played undead with an 11 10 7 record, which is 57%. So, you know, maybe he hasn't taken it seriously. Um, but yeah, not, not a great not a great record on, on Champs Ladder. Dead or alive. Maybe, maybe, he's like, maybe he's like me, where, you know, you're, you run a lot of tournaments and then you just kind of stick teams in there to, you know, to make do. And then you end up accidentally clicking validate and, you know, just. And then suddenly you have a sudden uh, a worse record than you should. Right? No, yeah, it doesn't. It really doesn't mean anything. I mean, especially over such few amount of games, he could easily be way, way better than his win rate would suggest. Uh -huh. uh, so at really this point, we don't know too much about him except that he doesn't really have a great win rate, <laughs> and he's playing against a human team that are built to to um, outbash a a um, yeah. 
on their team. Yeah. And it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be like the litmus test of uh, whether Undead or Human is the bashiest team, isn't it? And uh... I love that. I love that. So okay, now we're on to the Sage Odd Gravings, the Undead team taking on Made of Sand, and oh, I forgot to cover this Ma team. Here. <laughs> Made of but sand. But I wanted to. I wanted to cover that team because it is the only Camry team. Thank you for that follow, Ricardo Garcia. So the only Camry team in the tournament. Wow. Let's take a look here. Made of sand. It's beautiful. Do you know do you know who made of sand is though, don't you? VGP and, and everybody in my chat as well. Do you know who v, do you know who made of sand were? Uh wait, 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 let me get to them. Let me get to them. Made of Sand uh, is the team. It's the team from the quote because they were playing the Ogres and after the match that they won, VGP says, they may be made of sand, but they were rock hard tonight. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> that was it! That was it! And so, oh, man! And so was my cock. <laughs> It's so was my god. <laughs> oh man, I you know what I I forgot I said that. I was just and I was just making you know, just a joke obviously, but it's just one of those things where I just didn't even think about it and I just said it and then I went on with my life, but then suddenly people were like coming to my channel and were like, hey, Rock hard, VG. I was like, oh no, what did I say this time? <laughs> they were absolutely rock hard today. <sighs> so my yes, I know. I give you loads of interesting sound bites. I, I'm... Oh boy. Team. That is the team. And he, he's got four mighty blow. He's got a mighty blow tackler. This is a team I didn't really want to play because, although obviously, you know, he's even got the shoe hands against strippers. But um, yeah. this is a rough match for. Uh, for for Sage, isn't it? Because he, Sage is just out strengthed and out mighty yeah. blowed, and you know if he rolls well, you know like it's it, it, obviously there's a lot of playing involved, but um, mm -hmm. if he rolls well with his mighty blow, he's just gonna he's gonna murder anybody, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I think that is what the thought is from Vincenzo. It's just he wants to go and roll you with these four tomb guardians of his, and then just win it because he has the superiority in numbers by the end. I mean, that's just simply what it is. Do you think it'll actually work in this World Cup, right? I mean, if you have to depend on the injuries, right? I mean, can he go far? Can he actually do it? Yeah, and any, literally anybody can. I mean... Literally anyone can win. Anyone. Okay, literally anyone can win. You know, at the end of the day, there's not a lot of difference between how good anyone is. If somebody's got a 75% win rate and someone else has got a 65% win rate, it's not going to, you know, and even if they were their genuine skill levels, it's not going to translate to that big an advantage in the match. So probably the luckiest person's going to win this this tournament, to be honest. Mm. You know, maybe he's... <laughs> the or, luckiest guy ever. Yeah, well, not, not luckiest guy ever, but just probably the, the guy who's the luckiest is probably going to win because there's not that much difference yeah. between, like, say... Ducky and uh, you know somebody else, tri notorious noob. You know, there's not a lot of difference right. in those two guys, and and you know Bernie, e even Bernie, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, <laughs> even a guy like Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, PS4. Great guy. underhanded comment there, buddy. No, no, no. Like you know, you know, even Bernie, who like who, who's got this persecution complex about PS4, he's not that much different to Ducky. So if if he gets the look, he's going to win it. You know that it's as simple yeah, as that. Yeah. It, it really is. It, if if Bernie plays Ducky, it's probably the, the luckiest coach wins. That's probably how it is. You know, so True I, that. I reckon it's probably going to be the luckiest person wins the tournament, and whether that's through you know blitzes or draws or whatever, um, that's probably how it's going to end up. Um, Indeed. So but, then the sage is odd gravings. What do you think is built? We didn't actually look at his team. I kind of skipped over because we uh, looked at another undead team. But uh, it's, it's sage like, going with two mummies with guard and the tackle white and then the sure hands ghoul. Yeah, and 14 players and only two ghouls. I, I really don't like only two ghouls. I think that's very risky, only having four agility three players, especially as mm. people will have mighty blow tacklers. And in fact, in his first game, um, made of sand has a mighty <laughs> blow tackler. So, loads of my hey, he'll be happy that he'll have loads of zombies to throw at him 
right? Uh, uh, he'll be able to kind of like put him to the grinder, like take my zombies. Yeah, he's got, he's got fourteen guys, so he's he's not scared of the attrition. But then, of course, he might get loads of knockouts, or regen might not work. So, it mm. you know, it really is the dice are going to decide this one pretty much. And, you know, obviously positioning will matter, but. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, if the Kemri roll on him, he could roll on the Kemri as well. The skeletons are armor seven, aren't they? So, and if he Very gets true. lucky, removes a tomb guardian or two. <laughs> All right, and so we have uh, Chobaran's team, which uh, we threw in there against Blood Bowl Quebec Crew. Actually, another North American coach that is quite not- noticeable. Um, notable, I'm seeing. Sorry, yeah, yeah. and uh, it is Mr. Lights. So third page, Dwarven team, Blood Bowl Quebec Crew. Ooh. Again. Uh, he is one of the highest percentage, I believe, in North America, uh, besides Stringer Bell. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a he's a very good coach, Mister Light. Yeah. I know uh, him. Not only that, but he finished the uh, top sixteen or or top eight in the twenty sixteen yeah. World Cup. It's oh, that there you Spike go. Magazine. Yeah, and actually, top eight. Yes, You're top sixteen was Stringer Bell. He was top eight, Mister Light. Yeah, and he's, he's got four guard. I'll, I like just going four guard. It's simple. Obviously, a little bit weak against Wood Elves um, if you play them. But yeah, four guard, 12 players, Apple, reliable, very good. Very strong and very good. And of course, he's playing against Chabaron. I don't think we've actually got the skills for Chabaron. Um, All right, you just, you just got it in with a race. Is it Skaven? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, okay, so we did get that. Okay, so it is a Skaven team. And again, it's going to be one of the. The one of the only Skaven team. I didn't know if we had the skills on, wow, on these guys properly. Give the skills. Yeah. We got, well, I had to take the screenshots of all the teams, but um, I believe I did not take screenshots of people who did send one in. So I I didn't have it, but Mercy had the screenshot. Yeah, that's dedication, isn't it? I would have just put in a Skaven team and not given, not bought anything. The fact that he's bothered to get all the players and team, that's amazing. <laughs> well, Jimmy, you know what? We did not. We are the admins of the CCL, and we aim to please, right? <laughs> yeah. Storm Vermin with tackle, another one with mighty blow, and then of course the two bludge gutter runners. I think again, if I was, I said that in the beginning of the cast that I was thinking about taking a dark elf team, but I probably would have taken a scaven team instead, and this would have been likely what I would have chosen. Except I would have went with four gutter runners instead of uh, extra linemen. Yeah, I think 13 players is enough. Well, I think 13 and a gutter runner is probably what he should have done. He could have also had a throw then the um, against the Wood Elves. Having strength to reach your hands would be, would be good. Would oh, yeah, been. he's missing the thrower. Oh, no, so, so this is obviously not what I would have went with. But uh, Yeah, okay, so <laughs> not what I would have done. Ouch. No, no, I think, you know, he doesn't have any guard. He could have gone mighty blow tackle on, on the on the store vermin, but I guess he's thinking of taking claw after game one to have a mighty blow claw. And then, like, yeah. attack a mighty blow, storm vermin, or something. But um, yeah, I'm mm. not sure about. I'm not sure about not having a fourth gutter in the and the throw. I like the. You throw, know, just it's. You might as well. Yeah, I mean, what, why why go without the fourth gutter runner, right? I just, I just don't understand. Well, anyways. Yeah. Okay, well, let's take a look here. Second page. So PS4 don't bogart the tree. So obviously, that's a wood up team versus uh, shark the pusses. <laughs> <laughs> I love these team name guys. Like honestly, when I was when I was writing them down, I was like, "Shark to what?" <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Shod. Um, he is more. He's got hashtag more tickets with PS4 in 2020. Uh, PC actually has eight times the players of PS4, so they actually got percentage-wise more tickets than they should have done in in the champs ladder. So you know, can't really endorse his campaign there. I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's got what's what's the fourth skill? Oh he's got he's um, stacked he's stacked on the thrower. He's stacked. It's stacked on the thrower. Dodge. Yes, leader and dodge there. I'm yeah, that, that's a good idea. I think if you if you know, your normal your standard um NAF style would be tackle strip, um leader and two dodge. So I like I like mm-hmm. stacking the dodge on the leaders to make him more survivable. Um Okay. On the other hand, you can't use him to screen with a dodge player as much because obviously you want to protect him. But yeah, I think that's a that's a fine idea. And, All uh, right, yeah, and two then who's he playing against here? And a tree. So Sharktopus. He's gone. Sharktopus. He's gone you guys with these names. 
Sharktopuses. <laughs> okay, it is it is the it is the Russian the uh, gray bumblebee. Oh yes. And uh, a ruble ticket winner. Right. And we actually had a little trouble with him because uh, the acrylic was messing with our uh, with our invites, and so we had to tell him, "Hey, look, put it in English, and then we can invite you." <laughs> so he had to go back and recreate his team. Right. Well, so the flesh guy with the block, oh uh, boy, and then white with just the guard, and then the ghoul with the with the um, block and the sure hands. It's an interesting team. And then the team, rest of the werewolf. I don't like. That's people. very interesting. I don't like people who uh, organize the team like this. <laughs> no, it's, it's messing with our OCD, guys. <laughs> he should have all of the positionals together. He's gone really hard against Wood Elves with a block show hands ghoul. And uh, and then Wrestle Mighty Blow wo wo Werewolf. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? And then a a werewolf the with Wrestle and Mighty Blow. That's kind of a weird combination in itself, right? I mean, even... Even yeah. Despite the uh, the style of the tournament, right? I mean, yeah, that's, that's very why wouldn't have just gone with block, right? I mean, yeah. I like that he's got three rerolls and only one wolf. I like I don't hate that. I don't hate only having one wolf. Um, but maybe he's, you know, just because they, they want skills on them, so by going this way, he doesn't have to take skills on them. And you could have like but one a... werewolf, though, right? I mean, it's not like it's un it's unlike where. You know, in a normal tournament, in a progression tournament, you could just buy them later. You can't do that in this format, right? You have to start with your guys and then live with it. Yeah. So he's going to play this whole tournament with one werewolf. What do you think of that? I, I don't hate it because it means he gets the third reroll, which no one else will have unless they sacrifice ghouls, which you don't want to do yeah. either. You know, like as a rookie, I think a ghoul is better than a were werewolf. So it's... Hmm. um. It, you know, and it means he's got more skills to put, stick on the whites and the flesh golems. So he'll be able to have two block guard flesh golems eventually, and right. uh, stuff like that. You know, maybe all right. Let's guard let's do, let's go ahead and move on to the next game though, the Kobayashi Maru. That's RTSDs, right. and uh, it sticks out because you know I think I think I'm just saying I'm just pulling it out my ass here, but this may be the most unbeatable team ever. What do you think? <laughs> the Kobayashi <Ashimura. laughs> Um I don't know. You see, he's, he's at a drop of white to get the third reroll. So, like, that's the problem with Necro. Even I've with 1,100, they've so still got to drop things to get the team that they want. Um, yeah, one white to get the three rerolls. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things where do I drop a werewolf? Do I drop a white? Yeah. You know. He's only got yeah. a mighty blow wolf. I don't know if he's going to go piling on. Um, for a, a claw palm player, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, and yeah, no guard at all. A sure hands carrier. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. This is going to be one of those teams where he's going to meet up against a human team with loads of guard, and then suddenly he's getting outbashed. Yeah, maybe. Let's take a look. Who's he playing against here? The flying Frenchman? The flying Frenchman, Oops. Fessa. Who hasn't spent 10k? He could have had a cheerleader. Or a, or a coach or a fan factor, and he hasn't spent it. Tessa. Uh, he could have went with, yeah, I mean, why didn't he go with the fan factor at least, right? I mean, yeah, because he hasn't taken been. his double. He has not taken a double. Um, Uh-oh. Which is... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he did take the six skills. Yeah. So we did get asked if people could bypass the doubles and just take a general skill, and the answer was yes, but then... Uh, um, now what? I mean, it's, I mean, it's fair enough because you do want guard on the ogre and you do want three guard and a tackle. But I think maybe he's out of out of use the double to get guard and a catcher or block on the ogre rather than. The, but you know, he gets a tackle mighty blow, and I do think guard on the ogre is just better than block on the ogre. So I can I can see yeah. why he's not taking the the double. To be fair, because th <laughs> this blitzer core will be quite popular. I think. Right. Well, I mean, um, yeah, we, we were asked that, and of course, you know, the doubles is better than the, the, the normal skill, so it was just one of those things where it's like, well, sure, you can just go ahead and take the regular skill over the double skill if you didn't yeah, want they're, it. They're not always you know, I mean, just, that's the thing, is it, you know? I mean, I mean that, that's all is fair, I mean, right? I mean, I don't think anyone would, would scream in your face if... <laughs> 
<laughs> if if you didn't go with the double skill, right? I mean, it's is it a little bit less on paper? Probably not. So, and there you go. He gets the uh, extra guard. So I can't I can't fault him there. No. Tessa, I mean, he's also a pretty strong coach from the uh, PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know, every, everyone's strong. It, the, the win rate on the uh, on the on the champ side doesn't mean a whole lot. You know, it really, it really, oh, yeah. really doesn't mean a whole lot. So, you know, no matter or what, tales it doesn't matter. of single eighty nine. And I apologize if I'm stepping on. I'm just trying to move it along here. <laughs> it's getting a little bit long here. So the blitzers, um, sure hands on the blitzer, obviously. Then the two mighty blows on the blitzers and the tackle there. So, orc team. We didn't. We actually didn't talk about the orc team. What do you think there? Um, orc tails. Yeah. I don't think orcs are a great thing. They might eventually get good, but a sure hand <laughs> blitzer make it good. instead of a thrower, fair enough. Um, I wouldn't want to use one of my four skills on it. That's why I would use a thrower in this format. Lots of mighty blow and tackle, but no guard at all. I don't really don't like this build Talismans at all. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think a little bit too much hate on thrower, where the thrower actually does make sense in this format. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that build. All right, well, fair enough. There, single. You you dropped the ball, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a French. I see here. here. A Frenchman with lizards. He's just gone Le straight champion. for a block, which is the champion du monde. Yeah. Let's see here. Straight for a block. He, oh, he's actually given up a reroll for a skink. I'm not sure that's the right play, but you know it might be. Can't, it's it's a, he's not wrong for doing it. It's just not what I would have done. Yes, you're right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, four block. And again, one of those things where he took the APO. This this lizard team took the APO, but dropped the reroll. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's. Uh... Wow. So, hey, well, thankfully, he's playing against another or team that. We we both kind of didn't like there, and so <laughs> another lizard, <laughs> a lizard man team that we don't necessarily like with the uh, with the orc team that we don't necessarily like. Yeah. Um, I think I think I like if I was a, a gambling man, I'd take the lizard man team though. Yeah. In this, yeah, lizards, uh, lizards absolutely dominate orcs in my experience at low TV. Is orcs just don't have anything, and he doesn't have any guard. So yeah, I reckon. Uh, yeah. He's in a bad spot, the old orc coach there. But of course, he's got Get mighty blow, so if he gets lucky, <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got the mighty blow at least. Yeah, he can, but, he can, uh, anyone can anyone can you know just block I don't somebody. Anyone can win. Life, I don't see All right, so guillotine therapy. Yeah, taking on uh, guillotine therapy. Taking on no timber today. So one of them's a wood elf. I know that. So no timber, and then uh, let's just see. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, well, Elm okay. has Necros here. He's got two guard whites, a block okay. mighty blow wolf, a block fleshy, and a block ghoul. But he's only got one ghoul and only has two rerolls. But he's got 13 players. So this is the, you know, every every wood, every Necro team has had a completely different build. That's that's the problem with Necro. Although they're kind of good, there's nothing that screams this is the best build for them at all. You know, one, right. one werewolf hasn't even got a skill there on his team, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sold on on Necro this tournament. Not sold in Necro in this tournament. Yeah, I I think after looking at a whole bunch of teams like this, I think I have to agree because earlier I was kind of screaming, "Hey, look, Necros! How come they're not getting picked?" But then now that the the more and more I look at it, I was like, "Oh, you know what? Maybe this is the reason why." I mean, you have to almost sacrifice something to get something. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And, always and then, uh, notorious who's he playing noob. against here? Notorious noob is the timber guy. Um, oh, no timber. He is gone Notorious for, noob. Yep, he has gone for the Spartaco build of two rerolls, strip tackle, leader, and wrestle on alignment. And no APO. Okay. So, yeah. They probably got together and was like, hey. You know and what? I wish I'd gone wrestle on alignment now because that would be good against dwarves, wouldn't it? <laughs> Should have thought of that. Oh, Should have thought of that. Like, what if I draw one of the dwarves there? There's only like a yeah. six dwarves in the, in the tournament, and, a, and then a chaos dwarf. But I should have known I would get the worst possible matchup. So yeah, that's a fine, <laughs> a fine team for Notorious Noob. Yeah, indeed. And then next up, uh, comedian 
Red Devil is taking on Suck Blue Frog. So there you go. Guinness is uh, Lizard Team taking on Comedian Red Devils. Take a look at Comedian Red Devils. (laughs) (laughs) Nerd Frog. (laughs) So it's an Amazon team. Okay, so we actually didn't talk about an Amazon team either in the beginning. So let's take a look at here. He's gone um, gone no guard at all. Wow. That's risque. I would have gone some guard at least. He's got blood sure hands against strippers, so he's he's great against wood elves. And he's got loads mm-hmm. of blood. I mean, having loads of blood is fine. Four re-rolls, 12 players, and an apple. He's just banking on not do- drawing dwarves in the first round, and he didn't. Yeah, I would have I would have maybe he's gone more guard. Um, but, you know, they're still good when they've got loads of blood. Maybe had a wrestler as well. Yes, indeed. So, bludge catcher. I mean, like... If if he's playing against a coach who does not have tackle, I mean this could be an easy win. I mean I've seen it in 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 a, a tournament where Bludge just uh, they they only went with the dark elves and they went Bludge for everybody and nobody had tackle and they just simply won because they just couldn't catch him. They couldn't get the defender down die. But he he is up again. He is up against Guinness who does have a block tackle, a block tackler. So that he does. So this would normally be verging on unwinnable for for lizard men, but he does have the block tackle, so he's got, he's got a shot. And I'll be, look, anyone's got a shot against zones because you could just roll pals and cast them all. <laughs> but, <laughs> cast them all, yeah. But he's got a better better chance than normal having the block tackle for sure. Indeed, Guinness should be able to take that one. Next up, though, let's take a look here. Hamburg Canarvian Car- Carnivore and Crew, sorry, and WC Red Fire Spirits. Let's take a look at them. Hamburg. Carnivore and crew is junior 84 from DBBL. Uh, the, the qualifier that I won and didn't take my ticket for. Ah. Uh, he's gone lizards. Again, he's gone 12 players rather than the Apo. I, I would have rather had an Apo and four block. Absolutely standard. Yeah, pretty much standard there. But then taking the Apo instead of and uh, going with the skink. Yeah. Sure about that. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a bit risky, right? I mean, without the apple. Yeah, it's it's not wrong. It's just it's just uh, it's just an alternative, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Um, and the Red Fire Spirits, uh, coached by Ariak and the Pro Elf team. Look at that. Yeah. So another team that I was kind of meaning to take a look at, but again, we were kind of itching to start. So. Yeah. <laughs> an actual an actual Pro Elf team. So, now he hasn't taken. Now no, what I would have done there is probably so stack. A bludge step guard in the first game. He hasn't. He's put it on an unprotected armor seven, which I'm not sure about where he's put the guard there. I would, I think I would have definitely put it on the on the blitzer, and then had another one after the first game. So I would have had two bludge step guards. The bludge step then. guard tackle. I mean, not uh, bludge um, step guard. Yeah, bludge step guard after get a uh, two bludge step guard after, after one game is like yeah. the good thing about pro elves, and he hasn't he hasn't got the chance of that. I mean, he can have one bludge step guard, leader, dodge, wrestle. The, the problem is they start they lack skills to start with. Um, Twelve players in an apple though, so he's he's very reliable in that regard. Well, before the tournament, right? Um, I believe one of the admins were like, "Hey, I I choose pro elves because, man, the uh, the bludge step guard blitz is kind of what you mentioned." That's just one of those things where it's pretty strong, right? I mean, yeah, and he's he's much more durable than than a than a wood elf team. You know, he's got two armor eight, and he's got he's got a reserve and he's got the apo, so he's he's much more durable than a wood elf team. So it's not they're not just worse wood elves. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's he's a lot more durable than a wood elf team, but you know has a lot less tools than a wood elf team as well. Yeah, I I, I kind of like this. I like this. Uh, Pro elf team, I, but like you said, I don't like the guard on the catcher. But I mean, I like that he went pro elves. Yeah, and he's, you know, he, he could roll some dice against lizards, but I think the lack of dodge is probably going to hurt him. He's got a few dodge. Goblin, yeah, he's got a couple, but uh, right, the lizard team might be able to ca- catch up to him and then uh, hunt him down for a change. But uh, yeah, I I think in this case here, the lizard team a little bit better there. Okay, so Recazistos, Recazistos, uh, Recaz, Recazitos, <laughs> I'm going to get it right, guys. Recazitos, R-A-T, 
and then Ogum World Stars, so... Yeah, because Ogum World Stars is Falladius, isn't it? The, the three... The three ah, yes. Out the three guy. Um, three block and a guard, yeah. And 12 players instead the of Rekazi. a mantle. So... So there's going to be the other Skaven team, the Requisitos, the Requisitos Rat. <laughs> and Nacho, Nacho Bill. Bill. <laughs> He's got a tackler, a blocker, a wrestler, and a, and, uh, and a juggernaut roger. Yeah, fair enough. Juggernaut roger is, is a fair shout, to be fair. A fair shout, to be fair. Only two rerolls and no apple, but he's got 13. But I maybe he would have gone an apple and 12 players. Um, so, yeah. He could have even gone a re-roll and dropped the cheerleader. So he, he had a few options for there what to do, but he's, he's gone with just more men rather than re-rolls or apples. And uh, yeah, so Juggernaut, with the Roger there. Juggernaut Rogue gives him a reliable blitzer. Um, he's got sure hands against the strip and uh, block wrestle tackle. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I like this a, a lot better than the other Skaven team that we did see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think that's pretty good. Um, but he's against Always lizards, though, isn't he? So he could just get could just get bashed off the park. <laughs> All right, it is the uh, and then of course lizard man team. Just a quick look for you guys out there. Um, this Philadius is uh, lizard man team with the three block and the guard here for the stars, for the fourth scale instead of four blocks, and did go with the three rerolls and no apo and extra skink. So kind of the kind of the deal that's going on here with just about all the lizard man teams, they are not going with their apos. What is up with that? Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? It's that's strange. kind of strange. I mean, that's that's what I like about this format here. You just you think you think you got it figured out, and then suddenly people are whipping out twelve skinks, no no uh, apo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Weird. Interesting. Ducky versus knee proxy. Yeah. So Ducky's team against the proxy. Yeah. In terms of. So we've seen the Wood Up team with Ducky. Let's just skip past him and <laughs> let's go to the proxy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's, that's a pretty tough matchup for uh, Ducky. Historically, um, Undead are a you know, fair matchup against Wood Elves. He does have a Guard White, a Tackle White, Blodge Ghoul, and then a, a Guard Mummy. So he's, he's got a decent team to fight Wood Elves with, all four Ghouls. Right. See, and this is the undead team I was talking about, right? I mean, you get the two mummies, get a white with one of them with tackle, the other one maybe with guard or mighty blow, or whatever, and then you get a ghoul with blotch. I think the only thing that's lacking here is the the sure hands to to help him against the strip ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you you can't have everything, can you? I guess he could have done. He could have not had guard on me. <laughs> that's the only way he could have made it better against what else. Would have been a tackle or a garda and a block show hand, so it's nearly as good as it gets against Woody's, really. So nearly, that will but be I a think test. that will be a test. I think he will rule the day, right? No, no sure hands <laughs> against the. Uh... But hey, well, Ducky only has one reroll, so if that that dive doesn't work. Exactly, yeah, and it, I guess Ducky's going to be happy. He's got the apple this game, fighting the mighty blow and the tackle and stuff. But knee proxy seventy three point nine win percentage in in champs ladder, so yeah, that's going to be a big test for Ducky for sure. It's going to be a huge test, and undead team is going to be a, a good a good test to see if Ducky is going to be uh, living up to uh, whether or not he'll make it up past the first yeah. round or not. It's, it's pretty crap that like one of the seventy plus percent people are going out in the first round for sure, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean sad. it's going to be one of those things, right? And and uh, as I've said to everyone, look, it's not about you know if you went out early in the first round, it's going to happen, fifty percent. Yeah, you're going to feel like shit, but it is it is what it is, right? I mean, it happens. Don't, don't feel bad. You made it. I mean, no, what, 64 players or 64 coaches out of what? How many people that play Blood Bowl, right? Thousands? A lot, yeah. So, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's pretty damn good, guys. So don't beat yourself up over it. Yeah. Next up, though, it's a trap. Taking on just a luck Xbox. So, um, so but... But Tugly <laughs> is Gnome Slayer, just to have you know. Ah, yes, that's right. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. So it's a trap. It's a trap. And uh, Dark Owl Sprinter, he was also from DVBL. I like, his, I like his motto of let's get dangerous. 
<laughs> He's gone leader of the run. I don't really like leader on the runner. I would rather have more more dodge or block. But he's got block and wrestle. He's protected both witch elves. Dodge and uh, yeah, two ah. rolls apple. It's pretty, pretty standard. Not. Pretty much everyone's gone for this build, actually. The uh, three blitzers, two witch elves, runner and apple. I, I seem to be struggling on getting up. It's a trap here. <laughs> yeah, that's... Now, Pete W, who's who's widely regarded, um, you know, as one of the best dark elf coaches in the world, he he always uh, he always goes four blitzers and an assassin. Funnily enough, um, and he doesn't go with the apple. But pretty much, I think you know when I made the the dark elf team, I came up with this build as well. So I think this is. Right. This is a common one, maybe because they're only starting with four skills, you know, rather than starting with six. It encourages you to not take as much dead weight, basically. And the stacking as well. So, yeah, interesting team there. I just searched for trap and found him. Ah, oh, you've got him now. Yeah, I, I got it. I, uh, in the end, I, I finally did trap, and then I looked at the... Uh, <laughs> Duran's like, type in trap, dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, Witch Elf with Wrestle. I mean, obviously, you, you should take the Witch Elf with Wrestle, and then... Took the second witch elf with block, and uh, and of course three blitzers. I feel like I feel like if you're gonna take the witch elf with block, might as well just take the fourth blitzer instead. Yeah, maybe. No, yeah. Thing. yeah, maybe. But then you've got the stacking as well, haven't you? So you could maybe yeah. you know you could maybe do different things. So. But uh, armor seven, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, it's kind of give take, right? Yeah, you know, she's got a frenzy and, and jump up, but yeah, there's certainly an argument for just taking four blitzers for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, well, I do like that, Tuggy and of course. Has Necro. Just the luck, just the luck Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is. From Gnome Slayer. Oh, God, this is a, this is a dodgy one. No block on either wolf. <laughs> <laughs> He says to hell with the one and nines. And I'm two. taking tackle and I'm taking mighty blow. Oh man, and only two rerolls. Oh god, that is this he's gonna he's gonna live by the sword, die by the sword here. Three <laughs> guard. Whoa. He should just rename his team to Live by the Sword, Die by the Sword. <laughs> well he's he's got an app name. <laughs> just a look box. If he's a look box, he's gonna do great. If he, if he wins the first couple of games. Gets block on his his wolves. Maybe he's gonna go a pom wolf, you know, and uh, you use piling on for the first double. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then take block on the other one, so he's got a reliable one and a, and a killy. Wolf. He'll have the dream, right? The piling on body blow with the claw. Yeah, maybe that's what he's gonna do. Wow. <laughs> that that high may, risk. You know that. High risk. That's the thing reward. about the Xbox crew, right? But um, I think I would favour the other team that I've already forgotten. <laughs> Oh, dark elves. Yeah, dark elves. Mm, I don't know. He's got, he's got I some accidentally guard, bumped my uh, mic, and that's why I'm louder. So, <laughs> there we go. Is that? Hopefully, that's a little bit better. Yes, I am. I am whispering because Senna's asleep. Yeah. That's... Well, yeah, and, and Jimmy is kind of whispering because he's what two in the morning at this point. Uh, one, one in the morning, which isn't. Okay. What? Okay. Oh, we've well, only been doing this for an hour. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we're halfway through. Right, Forest Wolves versus World Cup Dwarfs. Yep, Forest Wolves, World Cup Dwarfs. <laughs> Who knew this would take so long? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Wolf Benson's another very good coach with standard yes, woodies. He's gone again for the wrestle. It's another Spartaco build here. Another um, Spartaco. Oh, it's not Spartaco. Went Frenzy, I believe, didn't he? But it's oh, but he did with oh yeah, he went Frenzy. Yeah, so yeah, it's not exactly the same. But he did go wrestle. And, uh, two but he did go wrestle. Yeah. This is and probably then World Cup. I, done. I probably should have gone wrestle on the line or really rather than hoping to win the first game and then get a blotch guard. So he's going to be facing up against a dwarven team. Hey, look at that. He's ready. He's got a wrestle <laughs> Lino yeah. to take the hits. Yeah, oh man. He was so he he got he got unlucky with the worst possible matchup as well. <laughs> a dance. A dance. Fair enough. Don't be stupid. I like this. So, um, I mean, this is going to be one of those things where the dwarves, if they can really brutalize the Wood Elf team, then they got it quite easily, right? I mean, with all that tackle. 
yeah. stop those uh, pesky war dancers. He's only got one runner though, so if he gets, he could get one dice, the one dice <laughs> armor broken, and feel bad, did, couldn't he? <laughs> did Wolf Bainson go with a uh, mighty blow? Not yet. Not yet. Strip ball tackle. I mean, those are the two natural skills. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, I like. I, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the wood elf here, but yeah, yeah I mean, obviously dwarves can easily turn that around. Yeah. Canars WC, I see BBL the PS4 Pariah. So yes, we're finally gonna be looking into Canards WC. Who's that? And that's actually Dunnock, the Amazon team. Ooh. And. Uh, there you go. There's, There's your guard for the Amazon, as you were kind of talking about before, right? Yeah. I, mean... I think I would have maybe gone. I think I'd have maybe gone three guard and a tackle, or three guard and an extra block. But um. But instead, went with the uh, the Blitzer with Frenzy, right? Oh, yeah, wow. Interesting. Four team rolls and then four fan factors, so he's not losing a lot of kickoff rolls. <laughs> no, yeah, I, li I like the four fun factor rather than a crappy thrower that he won't use and a crappy catcher that he won't use. You know, I like that he's just taken the actual. You know, the fun factor is much more likely. He's got a really good chance of getting plus two fame there. Almost certainly going to get plus one fame, and a really good chance mm -hmm. to get two fame is much more probably much more likely to be important than having a thrower or a catcher. You know, um, yeah, and then. And then watch Duran's luck, and he'll get a whole bunch of pitch invasions or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, four four re rolls and an apple, and thirteen players should be enough of everything there. It's it's good. that it will definitely be a tough Amazon team to beat, right? I mean, no matter which way you kind of look at it. Absolutely. And take a look at the Orc team of Duran actually going with the Orcs. <laughs> I like them in the longer format, right? I mean. Uh, once they get a few more skills up, but in the beginning here, and especially yeah. against this Amazon team with uh, four blodgers, right? Uh, it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's it's going to be rough for the first round. He does have mighty blow tackle for the Zons, though, so he 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 looked mighty out. Mighty blow the tackle. He, he didn't look out. He still probably wouldn't want to be playing Zons, but the fact that he's got the block mate the block tackle mighty blow, and he's only got four blodgers, the Amazon team. So, he, you know, if he if he does well, he'll get loads of kills there couple of guard it's 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 a fine start really to be fair three rerolls up all throw i love that vgp is the thrower brilliant vgp is the thrower right so i mean how can you lose calcium calcium should have been the blitzer <laughs> though really there right? I mean, <laughs> yeah calcium probably should have been but mistake. i think duran wanted to have all the glory to himself there i think he did yeah yeah guard, guard on the black hawks is fine i think you know mobile Mobile guards better, really. I, I would go guard on the blitzers, but then obviously strength four is harder to dislodge, better against the bash matchup. But I would yeah. rather have gone mobile guard for elves. But yeah, not not Indeed. bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, if, if uh, Duren's Mighty Blow Tackler can activate them, he'll be in for a good time. Otherwise, this could be a bad time for him. Yeah. But I think starting off, though, I'm going to like the Amazon team. Yeah, for sure. Of course, yes, the famed the uh, Norse team there against uh, Waste Hill Miners. Uh, I don't know. I didn't take a look at that. Oh, we did. It's the Chaos Dwarf team. Okay. Waste Hill Miners, the Chaos Dwarf team. Yeah. And again. Yeah, we've already looked at this team. Yeah, and, if, and we actually took a look at both of those teams. Yeah, we looked at both of them. What's the chance of that? <laughs> What's the chance of that? We only looked at what? Maybe seven teams or something. Nasty to get today. One month until twelve months, hands. Jimmy. I am going to be expecting a gift. P. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Backyard Dodo, for staying fantastic. Oh, and then yeah. the, the, Sorry, this I is to tough. This is a tough match for the Norse team, right? I mean, they didn't want to match up against someone with armor value nine, and suddenly now they are. Yeah, and mighty blow as well. Though. The Mino could just tear through his whole team. Ouch. This is tough. At least he's got block to fight against all the uh, blocks for uh, the Chaos Dwarves, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. But it's one of those things where I kind of say that, okay, once for the Norse team, right? If you're playing Norse, once the once the other team does get block, suddenly you're armor value seven. Yeah. Yeah. With, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If they get without... a protracted kind of fight. 
the, their armor seven and the Chaucer armor nine. <laughs> They're gonna likely <laughs> come out worse. But they they do have more strength, kind of, because the bulls, you know, don't want to be expensive black orcs. So you know, and one's got sure hands anyway. So you know, he might you know might get in a bit there. But obviously, the minor could just could just mighty blow everything. But then he can he can mighty blow him back with a berserker. So probably come down to dice that one, I imagine. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm, I can't believe it, but I, I think the Chaos Dwarf team in the first game might take one over the Norse team if it gets into a, a long overtime fight, right? I mean, yeah. Hmm. All right, well, next up, though, let's take a look at Master Talis, Spartaco's team against the Pokai Panthers, the human team there. Um, I forget who is piloting the Pokai Panthers, so... Of course, we're, we'll just quickly take a look at Spartaco's team, though. Yeah. Um, so I was completely wrong when I was saying loads of people had this build because he does he has gone Frenzy instead of Tackle on the Dancer. He might be thinking about Juggernaut Frenzy, um, you know, to help with one turn. Oh, God. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I need a drink. Oh. Yep. But yeah, it's, he's got the Frenzy with the War Dancer, and he does have the Leno with the Wrestle, and then the Strip Ball with the War Dancer. So a pretty solid lineup and a little bit different than what a lot of people has done where War Dancer has gotten the strip ball and the other one got the tackle, but this one here with the frenzy and that little difference may actually matter. And he's going against here against the uh, Pokai Panthers, right? Yes. Pokai Panthers of Al Bundy. <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying here. So against a, a normal human team with the three guard set up with the tackle blitzer and then the thrower with the block to kind of offset the war dancer with the uh, jumping in there with the block. But uh, yeah, so he's got he's got friend. one of the better matchups against uh, Wood Elves there, hasn't he, with the block show hands? So yeah. So. Yeah, he's got the block show hands. So he's ready for the Wood Elf teams. Yep, he's got guard on the. You'll be able to have guard on the cage corners and everything. A tackle. Dare we say that people. Spartaco goes out the first round? He, he could well do. He could well do. Wow. I don't know who Al Bundy is, um, yeah. but you know he, he's in the World Cup, so obviously he's good enough to beat Spartaco. So if he gets a <laughs> bit of luck, you know, like that's the thing. You know, even if even if Spartaco is the best coach in this World Cup, which he you know he arguably is, being world number one in NAF rankings right. what for what they're worth. Um you know, even if he is the best player, he could lose to anybody. It's it's you know, there's not there's not a big yeah. gulf at all. As uh, proven in the twenty sixteens, I suppose, right? Exactly, yeah. The luckiest team ever. Is it really the luckiest team ever? <laughs> taking on the Xbox Fable Legends. <laughs> so <laughs> Alright, let's take a look wow, here. The luckiest Let's... team ever is, is Wood Elves. So if he is the luckiest team ever, he's not going to lose ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. We got the Frenzy with the Tackle War Dancer yeah. and then the Strip Ball on the other War Dancer yeah. and then just the leader on the thrower. Wow. Very strange to see stacking on Wood Elves or on any Tier 1 team, really. Um, so yeah, Frenzy Tackle, that's extreme, isn't it? Only one reroll and going with the Apple. Um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Not something I would have done with the Mighty Blow. Because I want the Mighty Blow tackle, you know. So I don't know where his double's going. Probably guard, I guess. He might just go get two guarders. Um, mm -hmm. I like the option of just going tackle. So if I was playing, say, Amazons in round two, I could take a Mighty right. Blow tackler. And if I was playing someone else, I could take guard. So he's he's limited his options a bit by stacking. Mm. Yeah, that is, that is true right there. Because something to consider for this tournament is... Yeah, okay, you can stack a couple of skills there, but you can, you're limited to two skills per player. And now in the next round, you got to think about who you're going to be playing next. And as Jimmy is saying there is you're going to limit yourself to to um, not being able to put a skill on whatever you need to and then try to win it that way. So, Fable Legends, Chelsea Zola. And, it is uh, a wood yes, elf. Be... It is a wood elf mirror. Wood elf mirror. You know what? Well, you know what? We haven't had too many mirrors, right? I mean, like yeah. we had what, fifteen wood elves and what, thirteen humans, and I think all of them are not playing against each other. Yeah. And finally, we have a wood elf mirror. 
Yeah, and uh, he's gone with a tree as well. Um, he is stacked tackle and strip. He's, he's got two tackle dancers, which might be good yep. for the mirrors. Um, I'd certainly want. I'd rather have two tackle and strip than than tackle strip and frenzy. So I think he's got the better the better team the for better it. The better of it. Two rerolls. I ah. prefer two rerolls to reroll reroll an apple, but it doesn't mean it's better. It's it's very close between, you know, the tree, the rerolls, and the apple. It's not. You can't say anything better. So yeah, interest. That'll be a really interesting one for sure. Look at that. So the Wood Elf mirror matchup, and it's going to go to an Xbox. Chelsea Zola, who has a slightly looking, a better, slightly better looking team for the matchup, yeah, with the maybe, two tackles. Maybe, yeah, it's the one I'd rather have. Yeah, it's the one you'd rather have. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dutch Quality Gaming against Lean and Green WC. Mm. Take a look at Dutch Quality Gaming here. Is it really Dutch Quality, or is it just kind of regular quality? I don't know. Crystal Hunter. Mm. Look at that. His human his, team. His motto for the team is team speak. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that implies. <laughs> but um, uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's got a he's got a block guard ogre, guard guard mighty block block guard ogre. ogre. I, I don't like splitting the tackle and the mighty blow. I you know I can see the point. You blitz with mighty blow if 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 you don't need to blitz with tackle. But um, I'd rather stack them because if I'm blitzing with tackle, I want to be blitzing with mighty blow. Mm. So yeah, he could palm. Yeah, he could palm. I didn't even think of palming. Well done, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think of palm. I didn't even planning on palming. It. I didn't even consider it. Or maybe just more guard, and then you could have mighty blow guard, and then tackle guard, and then just go even more guard. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be against that. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's one of those things where. In the future, you just think, I could do whatever I want with my skills. If I'm facing your Amazon team, yeah, piling on Mighty Blow might be worth it. Yeah. Uh, tackle on there as well. I mean, I mean, just one of those things where you can just really be quite diverse yeah. in the future. Yeah, it's, it's very flexible. Yeah, if he's playing if he's playing Amazons, yeah, as you say, he goes to, he's got a tackle Mighty Blow now. If he's playing, um, I don't know, someone's shit, Pro Elves, he can go piling on. If he's playing Orcs, he goes guard. So, yeah, he keeps his options yeah. open, which is good. Yeah, for sure. Lean and Green WC, the other Orc team, another Orc team. So I believe there's four Orc teams in this tournament. And this one here went with a troll. It's lean. Wow. Yeah, I like the troll as a, as a you know, a, an anchor, if you like, a defensive anchor and, uh, you know, roadblock. Did you, did you like what you saw in the Invitational with the troll and the goblin coming out from... Diamond Lord. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. The prob the problem is if you go with a goblin, he went twelve players, didn't he? So he, I guess he didn't have an app or he didn't have a reroll. He had he had to drop something to get the goblin. Um, mm. Whereas he's gone three rerolls and the apple, and only eleven players, like the thrower for the sure hands against Woody's, couple of guards yes. and the tackle mighty blow. The problem with going tackle mighty blow game one is. It just leaves him down more skills, doesn't it? Being a tier one choice, I think I would have preferred, you know, tackle than three guard. But fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. It's just kind of like what you said earlier, right? I mean, if I'm blitzing with my mighty blow, I kind of want to tackle with it just in case yeah. you're fighting against a uh, Amazon or the Wood Elf team or something like that. Yeah, but I'd, I'd favor the humans there, to be honest, against orcs. Game one. Game one, humans over the orcs. Pomorski Troll against the Aragon st Stars. Pomorski Troll. Dwarf. So I actually looked up what that meant, and uh, it's uh, those little trolls with the uh, um, with a strange haircut. Um, All right. The... <laughs> a little bit ugly. <laughs> so what is it, what are they called? Three guarders oh, and a block runner. That makes sense, really, doesn't it? You know, stronger against the leaps, the leap blitz, um, and then only three guard though might might cost him in a bash matchup. Might cost him there, yeah. But it's going to be one of those concerns here. You got to have, I think, a runner with the blocks to to help you against the war dancers, right? Yeah, that's the thing with four skills. You can't you can't cover all your bases. You've got to be weak to something, basically. 
Yeah, and, and that's the thing about taking a tier one team early, but once you get those few skills in there, suddenly, hey, 12 on 10, not too bad. Yeah. All right, so, and then Pomorski Troll is taking on, let's see here, Aragon Stars. And he is humans. Again, he's gone 13 players instead of the Apple. I, I don't really like that. But um, his okay. skills are absolutely fine. Block on the Ogre, three guards, might go tackle, absolutely kind of standard. Kind of yep. standard. And we've, uh, and we've seen that goal. plenty of times. The only real variation yet is the uh, ap Apothecary yeah. going without it and going with the extra lineman. Yeah, I guess maybe they want a foul. I guess that's the, re the reasoning behind going 13. Yep. You know, and they, he is playing against a dwarf team. team, so what do you think? I, I've got a bet on the got a bet on the humans. <laughs> Betting on the humans, okay. So pretty much against any orc or dwarf lineup, humans, huh? That's yeah. that's the that's the one you're going for. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then oops, I seem to. This next have... team's called Ram Ass. <laughs> Ram Ass. <laughs> We're finally on page four, though. I'll tell you that much. And I already know that Humansky Ripki is a uh, human team. So let's run us. Okay, finally a human mirror a human of Steve. Team. Steve with humans. And, yep, yeah, he's gone. Three guard and a tackle. A block on the thrower. Block, th uh, block on the thrower, yeah, and then block on the ogre. So absolutely standard, 12 players, two catches. Um, block on the thrower to be a bit safer against the, the wood elf one dice, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, fine. It is a it is a mirror mirror though. So um, human, yeah. I don't even think that's gonna pull up. How do I type this in? Because hum. <laughs> Just put hum. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Of <laughs> <laughs> um, Kabusta. Kabusta, he's gone. Block mighty blow. And only two guard. Two guard. And then catcher. a blodge catcher instead of a block throw. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I would have liked. I, I prefer Steve's team there, with, just because he's got more guard. But of course, if cause... if Kabusta's uh, blitzer goes off on one with a mighty blow, you might just murder him. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be one of those kind of fifty-fifty contests in which. Does the guard really matter, or will the mighty blow kind of matter? I mean, yeah. I mean, we did see in the Invitational, <laughs> two tackle mighty blows won the whole thing, right? So yeah, exactly. Yeah, if the mighty blow fires, um, it's bad times for the guy who doesn't have mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of which, um, Uno si Calavera, uh, Calaveras and uh, bearded bazooka. So dwarf versus human matchup, and of course we have seen Arzawain play with. The human team of Unos e Calaveras. Oh man, Bearded Bazooka. That time. Bearded Bazooka, unsurprisingly, is a dwarf team. Uh, only two guard. And a mighty two blow. guard? Yeah, mighty blow blitzer. That's an interesting choice. I would never take a mighty blow blitzer in this format. I would want my guards on the blitzers because they're more mobile with a movement five and agility three. And I would want my mighty blow on either the frenzy guy or a tackle guy. So definitely not a blitzer. So. I'm really surprised. Wow. What, maybe he's planning on going piling on Mighty Blow, so then it's on a movement five guy. But even then, it could have put him or, on Troll Slayer. So. Or maybe he just thought to himself, look, I just don't want to have Mighty Blow. I mean, I just don't want to go without it. I mean, there are some people just that just kind of feel naked without Mighty Blow. Yeah, but it's just a weird choice to put on the Blitzer, I think. Um, only one runner, right. so he... No, he's, yeah, he's only got one runner, so he could be a bit exposed if he loses it. You're right about that, because why not just put it on a uh, long beard, right? Tackle. Yeah. Or, or hmm. the Troll Slayer. Or, or the Troll Slayer, who is going to be doing the blitzing, right? With the Frenzy. Yeah. And then, of course, Arzo Wayne Human's team. He did ask me if he could remake his team, or put in his team. And I said, no, you have to uh, remake it, yeah. uh, just to be fair. Yeah, and, so uh, exactly the same block. Exactly the same. Mighty blow, three guard. And I'll be favoring him again against dwarves every time humans over dwarves. Um, and anytime humans are playing against an orc or a dwarven team, we're going to take the humans, yeah? Yeah, 
Yeah, and he's I like that. It's a, it's an absolutely standard build. This is probably the most this is probably the most likely human build, I think. I think people like taking block on the ogre for whatever reason. Um to pack a mighty blow on three guard is pretty standard. Okay, and then we have the next matchup, Noblisa Ivalor and uh taking on I believe this is well, you know what, before I start believing, let me just check it out. Yes, it is the Baser's team. Oh. And the Baser is bringing, yes, a human team. And he is making all us OCD <laughs> out with his lineup. Thanks for that. <laughs> and uh, he does have the Ogre with the block and the guard, and then a blotch catcher, and then the guard blitzer over here, and then a tackle and mighty blow blitzer. I can't find him. <laughs> I just put J. All right. Put the, yeah, I just put the J in there. <laughs> Let's see. These are humans for the base. Ah, block guard ogre, block catcher, tackle mighty blow guard. Yes, yeah, so only two guard total. Hmm. Yep. Not sure I like interesting, that. Interesting. Interesting note. Um, the baser did submit a Bretonian team at first, and then was like. I think after the Invitational, he was like, hey, uh, uh, change mind to human. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, right there. I hate, I hate the Come ordering on. on his team. <laughs> Disgusting. Mm -hmm. Disgusting behavior, ordering his team like that. <laughs> I know. It just, it just makes me... Ugh. All right, and of course, now, yes, another human matchup. I mean, uh, we're going to see a lot of humans out in the first round because yeah. there's been... I think this is the uh, third mirror matchup between humans. Yeah, lots of lots of human mirrors. Yeah, this is like this is like the human league, and that is Arzawain's team again, isn't it? Unsurprising. Yep. I, this is probably the most likely human team. It's not what I would make, but I, it's what yeah, I think right would be that. the most popular. I would have gone for five guard total, but um, yeah, I'm not surprised by this at all. It's it'll, it'll thank you for that subscription there, Coltron. It will do well for sure. It's so there are the uh, yeah i mean this is pretty much a standard I, yeah i mean i still like the tackle of mighty blow on that blitzer i mean this is this is a good stuff here um between these two though <laughs> the baser i mean he's kind of a big name right against uh yeah. no 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 blisa andre no, was 2012 world champ was that blood ball one then mercy flush or are you talking about he was on... i'm not sure who andre is was he on the the team that won it surely Surely England wins the World Cup every year in in <laughs> in Blood Bowl. Or <laughs> well, France wins sometimes as well. Um, right, who's who's next? Burning Woody's DBBL. That's probably a Wood Elf team from the DBBL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably so. Uh, but uh, just uh, just a quick one on the last one there. I, I, I'm I'm going to probably uh, probably just pick a. Uh, Andres uh, Noblesas e Valor because I just yeah. I think the uh, natural three guard and the mighty blow tackle I like that a little bit better than what the basic kind of did with his human team which was yeah. I think two guard and and put the block and guard ogre so yeah I pr I but yes burning woodies I prefer that team yeah for sure um yeah burning woodies is Yago from DBBL Yago wood off team and yeah, Woody's he's gone. Sidestep catcher. Mm, that will make <laughs> that will make the one turn easier. Um, I think that's kind of. I you know I, I was a little bit uh, surprised that a few more people didn't take at least the sidestep with the catcher because of the fact that you know you are able to easier get that one turn touchdown. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's not it's not bad. Um, but then, yeah, re-roll Apple, you know, it's Woody's. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Got only one re-roll there. So if he does manage to try to do the one-turner, how easy it's going to be against Plan Caplan, Cap, uh, Plan Cap Can. Uh, uh, what, uh... He does have the re leader, though, doesn't he, like like most teams? He does have the leader. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Poop it's starting to get long here. I'm, I'm starting to see <laughs> 64 teams is so difficult. I didn't know it was going to be this difficult, Jimmy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I was really liking Pupok's team. He's got three rerolls. 
He's got three guard, he's got a tackler, he's got block on one wolf, mighty blow on the other. I'm like, this is really good, 12 players, but he hasn't got ghouls at all. So, <laughs> you know, that, that's how he's done it, isn't it? You know, he hasn't got ghouls at all. Yeah, again, one of those things where we've said it many times before, Necro seems to just have to sacrifice something to, to get kind of what he wants to go with. And there you go, three guard. And yes. block and mighty blow and the tackle. I mean, stands up well against a human team, right? I mean, yeah, he's he's got half a chance, but the problem is, is, is most of his players are so crap. <laughs> the fact that he's lost two goals, <laughs> you know, he, against the Woodies, he's got four players who can touch the ball, and he wants three of them to be blitzing and one of them be guarding. So, <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> it's he's really weird, really weird team. Yeah. And he and again, it's it's probably one of those things where he prepared for a human, but draw a wood elf in the first round, and he's a little bit in trouble here, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. He could be a little bit in trouble. Yeah. Kupak just barely getting in with the third place uh, invitational ticket, where Bernie had already won a ticket. So yeah. he's going to be in for one of a hell of a fight in the first game. All right, so we have an Amazon team, Queenies, Queens, and the PS4 B&T Old Timers. Mm. Let's see here. Queens. Tis 123. Of course, I know nothing about this coach. No, neither do but I. But we'll get, get a couple of guard there, and then one of them with Mighty Blue, and the other with the wrestle with the line women. Yeah, that seems, that seems quite reasonable. That seems quite reasonable. A couple of guard. Mighty blow and wrestle, yeah. And again, he's gone for four fan factor, which I like rather than useless positionals. This is this is the nice thing about taking an Amazon team, right? I mean, everyone would dodge, and then you could take four re rolls and yeah. loads of fan factor, right? I mean, that's the one thing that if you do take an Amazon team, you're gonna have the fan factor. Yeah. So that's one thing to consider here, like. I think a lot of people kind of maybe overlooked the Amazon team and just thought, you know, oh, you know, I'm seven, sure you get the, the blodge, but I mean, you're only starting with four skills. It kind of limits the Amazon team, but don't forget all the rest of the stuff you can get. You can get lots of girls in there to replace the ones that are going to get injured and then the fan factor. Yeah. Yeah. Old timers. Um, it's high elf. High elves. <laughs> oh boy, what an interesting matchup. He does have a mighty bow tackler. Look at that. Stump humper. <laughs> <laughs> you madman. Yeah, Sam T's a level one coach. Maybe he's from consoles or just plays in leagues. Um couple of dodge leader three dodge, a leader and a mighty bow tackle seems quite reasonable. Oh Fan Fox is one no. of his players, so I guess he's I guess he's a I guess he's a console player. <laughs> Shalange has not been updated. I, I was trying to at first, but then everyone was watching and was like, hey, your screen's frozen. So either I not do the Twitch or I don't do the Shalange, right? So I'll update it after this after this uh, cast here, which is coming up pretty soon. So look for it in the next uh, 10 minutes to be absolutely updated. Yeah, so he, again, like, like uh, was it Darun, I think? I don't know. Somebody had Mighty Blow Tackle playing Amazons. So yes, it was Darren. So it's a little bit unlucky for, you know, if you've taken Zons, you're like, please don't give me dwarves, and then you get a mighty blow tackler anyway. And it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not an auto-lose for the, the Zons at all, you know. Zons could still easily win the game, but at least mighty blow tackler gives you a fighting chance against Zons. Right. But it is going to be one of those games in which the high elf team is going to be in for a tough one if the mighty blow tackle doesn't activate. All right, so that is what we... Oh, and now, of course, Bernie Buffin, the uh, controversial coming into the World Cup, taking on It's All About Meme, which is the, which is the uh, probably the worst matchup, I think, for Bernie. But uh, I guess if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, right? I mean, well, or... It's, it's, it's not a bad matchup game one. In fact, it's, it's a pretty good matchup game one because mm. the Dark Elves are slightly weak game one. You know, he, yes. he does have five dodge, which is good. Um, he is missing a, a like a blocking skill on the witch, so he can only really blitz with one of the witches. So yeah. you know, it's uh, two rerolls and an apo though. Is ap eleven men armor eight and an apo is is he's probably going to need eleven men and an apo and armor eight against Bernie. 
<laughs> and and you know what's and you know what's funny too? Um, I, I believe Bernie is actually still taking his uh, his team there. And let me see if he oh, he's feel the burn up. He's gone for the Arza Wayne build. Oh, he went with the Arza Wayne build. Oh, so he, he reined it back a little bit. I thought he was going with the uh, two tacklers with a mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> No, he would have he would have loved that, but yeah. So he's got tackle mighty blow to hit the uh, hit the witches and hit the blitzers, yep. and he's got three guard, which is a lot of guard. You know, this is the problem with going dark elves. This is this looks a really hard map. Basically, dark elves are bad humans until they play <laughs> a few until they play a few games, and we can see from the ogre there on Bernie's team that Shawnee qualified for the World Cup in the end. <laughs> hey, Shawnee, he did it! You did it! You finally did it, man! <laughs> <laughs> he's in the World Cup. He's yeah. in the World Cup. Well, now you can tell him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the Dark Elves, I mean, well, to be fair, four agility for the Dark Elves, right, still. I mean, they're not a crappy humans. They're just, they just don't stand up quite well against the humans in this first game. Yeah, no doubt. So it's That's actually the other way around. Yeah. Bernie might actually make Andy feel the burn, hey? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, they're, they're not crappy, no. They're still all agility four and, and quite a lot of, do like, five dodges a lot. But if uh, if Bernie's dice are hot, he'll he'll cast them out, and the the gut he'll be able to use the guard and everything. And uh, yeah, he's he's certainly got a shot. Indeed, but uh, uh, surprisingly, yeah, I'm gonna take uh, Bernie in this first match. Wow. Yeah. Okay, coming up to the last two games here, the greatest Quebec noobs taking on the Rebel Rampage. Right. Greatest. Chapsu. So it is a beautiful Wood Elf team. Of course, tackle and the strip ball, but going with three catchers and no tree. Wow. And then yes. a kick and leader thrower. Yeah, so he has gone. He has gone for the uh the option of no tree to get two rerolls and the apple. So I'm 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 surprised he's the only one that did it, because I think that's quite a I expected that to be more common than it was dropping the tree. Gives them the advantage in elf mirrors, makes them a bit weaker to humans. Tackle strip standard, leader standard. And he just has mm -hmm. gone kick on throw, which I don't like. I would have rather seen block or dodge yeah. or wrestle or some, somewhere. And so he's ready for the blitzes as well. So, I mean, this one will be one of those things where he's prepared for a wood elf team or even other elven teams, but uh, some of these other humans are maybe even. Uh, other teams that may have went more uh, tackle and mighty blow. Ah, and he's he's up against he's up against humans. Um, on oh, no. I believe. I don't know if he's the current. I think he's the. Oh no, he wasn't. No, but, uh, bleeding hippie's oh, the current gonna... the current rebel champion. I think he was the champion before hippie. Um, ah. He started with palm. Unbelievable, Jeff. And he's starting with palm. Finally the palm started. blitzer. Finally what a nightmare started. for this wood elf team coming up, and because he's. He went without the tree. Yeah. And so this human team is not going to just bash him, but he's going to really bash him. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, if he had the tree, the tree just sits on that pom, pom tackler and then the, the, the not tackler, pom, pom blitzer, and then the pom blitzer's got to just dodge away from the tree. Now he just gets to pile on every turn. Uh, well, he can't pile oh, on every what? turn, though, because he has got to protect the ball. He's only got two guard to do it. Hasn't got block on the thrower. But, uh, you know, he probably would have rather had a tackle mighty blow, really, to hit the catchers in the air. Dancer, but he can certainly get lucky, can't he? With with palm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And with again, the palm, I mean. Oh, he's dropped wow. the reroll. He's dropped the reroll to get thirteen players. That's I'm really surprised. Oh, that thirteen players. He did. He dropped the reroll. <sighs> Two rerolls. That seems. That seems wow, crazy. for agility three team, that's that's tight, isn't it? Yeah, that's really tight. I, I really don't like that. But I guess he's planning on fouling a lot. You know, maybe he's think, thought about all of his skills, and he's going to take dirty player and alignment. You know, maybe he's relatively <laughs> yeah. soon, and 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 that's what the plan is. I don't know why the so many of the humans have gone thirteen players, and I thought they would have all gone three rerolls apple. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah, I I absolutely agree. I mean, I I would have thought that they all would have went three rerolls. I feel like if you're taking three agility humans, you're taking three rerolls. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Maybe oh, planning the leader. Planning that's the lead, uh, but... that's also the case. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. Oh, and we saved the best till last. 
Yeah, save the best for last. Yes, again. Yes. <laughs> Blood Bowl's coming home. WC Guardians of Asgard. I think we have covered, of course, uh, because it's a bit of a foregone conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. I've got no chance. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but it is a tough game. Dwarf team against your Wood Elf team. Uh, just, again, just the, yeah. for people who arrived a little bit late on the scene, WC Guardians of Asgard. We're the Dwarven team against Jimmy's Wood Up team. Yeah. Well, you know, at least he didn't take, what, three Mighty Blow and Tacklers or something in yeah. the first bit. Yeah, yeah. And, but he's done the right thing, well, what I think is the right thing of guard on the Blitzers. Um, and he's got a block runner, so I can't be pinned to one dice in very easily. And it's just going to nope. be horrible, really. 12 players, so we can foul me a bit. Um three rerolls in case of overtime yeah uh, not very happy about that match <laughs> <laughs> well uh in the last world cup you what is it you went out in the second round was it or the or the first round i didn't qualify Where was for the, world, the first world cup. oh you didn't oh okay <laughs> oops uh, no oh, i um I, didn't shut up now. <laughs> I won something like 14 in a row you know to qualify in ladder and then uh I got my team killed by uh, what's he called? Burned, <laughs> burned the troll, killed my team, and then uh, <laughs> I threw the game after, after he killed my team. So, because I was missing all my best players, and then after that, uh, I couldn't qualify because you had to go good. twenty. You know, <laughs> but I nearly just did it go first twenty. Now, nearly did it first try. Well, did did you like this World Cup format a little bit uh, better uh, for qualifying? At least. Uh... You just had to get into the Champions Cup, and then yeah. Well, I mean, the the best way was was still the 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 leagues, wasn't it? The uh, and I thought that was a nice way to do it with the private leagues. What I should have mm -hmm. done was I should have looked at the format of the leagues because I feel like the leagues that had a group stage then playoffs were a lot easier to win <laughs> than like if you think you're a good player, or a lot right. easier, like less luck involved than the Swiss ones. Because the Swiss ones, you just had to win six in a row, or like win five, draw one, or win five, lose one, or whatever. Whereas mm -hmm. with the group stages, I believe Sage drew all three of his playoffs games in one of the league, and then they all went to overtime, and he won them all. So if that had been Swiss, yeah. he would have finished nowhere, you know. So I think that, that it does favour you if you're good to win, to get in those kind of qualifiers. So I think I right. did enter the wrong qualifiers, but then obviously got. Lucky. Do you think? Do you think if we do do another World Cup, do you think that? Uh, focus should just come out and say hey look private leagues we want um, this type of format like say like a group stage with a elimination KO do you think that's feasible or would it just kind of limit how leagues could do it such as like such, some leagues had to do a Swiss yeah. right because of the amount of players that they had yeah well um, now, see this is, the, this is the thing on, on one hand Every league can put their own spin on it, which is kind of nice. So you can you can choose the qualifier that suits you, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also, you know, there's the argument for making them standardised. I'm easy either way, um, of course, without being Look offensive to anybody in UKBBL. I thought their format was horrific because they just let you they let you pick skills up to a TV. So obviously, uh -huh. everybody went with dwarves with like twenty skills. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow! And wow! Really? Jeez! Yeah, you could just get infinite skill with dwarves. Like I think Sage went zero rerolls, but and got a leader and like just a sea of guard and stand firm and mighty blow. And it was just obvious that it, that that yeah. format was made for dwarves and Amazons, and no one's going Amazons when you when, you, when dwarves are so strong. So you know, it was dominated yeah. by dwarves. And then the rebel one, they put their own spin on on NAF style. Which basically made it easier for Wood Elves, which was, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I don't think that was a, a great idea to make a format even even more, you know, favourable for Wood Elves. Um, but I certainly like that they did that. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, and, and then some had group stages and and things, and some had like what's it or the uh, the other one that I entered. What was that? Uh, the AD English right. Invitational. He had like twelve rounds of Swiss or some ten rounds of Swiss with with progression, so like it yeah. was good that if you wanted progression you could enter them. Like I think Knee Proxy and someone else didn't even have legendary, did they? So 
Uh, yeah, no, Pricey did not have legendary. Yeah, yeah so it was, it was good that they were able to qualify without even having legendary. Whereas if it, if it had, had to, you know, if there had been a standardized thing, yeah, I, th I, th I think it was good that there was different. Um, I think there okay, was different. Fair enough. There's pros and cons, isn't there? There's pros to having it standardized, and there's there's pros to having you know each, each letting each league put their own stamp on it, and then letting the people choose which one they like the most. Okay, very true because um, there was such a difference in all of the private leagues on how you did it. There was some people that just felt like, hey, you know, like there. Are, they're not kind of fair. Maybe we should standardize it so that we can make sure that we're all getting the same type of skilled, quote unquote, skilled players. Yeah. But in the end, I guess you may be right. Just let the, let the coach choose what kind of suits them the best. And not only that, but uh, it just makes this World Cup a little bit more exciting, right? You just, anyone could have made it in there. Yeah. And some people who may have not qualified with the group stage and with the elimination would have done better in the Swiss. They absolutely survived and made it in. So, yeah. who knows, right? Yeah, no, I think I've, I think it's good having. I, I do think it's good. I think the benefits outweigh the negatives of having different different kinds of qualifiers for sure. Just because you know, if, if you were all, if you hate the idea of NAF style, you can enter one of the progression ones, and if you hated mm -hmm. the idea of Swiss, you could enter one of the one of the group stage knockout ones. So, yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. So the teams that weren't represented represented were obviously the tier three teams, and then uh, which are the goblins, halflings, um, ogres, and uh, there's no vampires, no underworld, no brets. There was a bret until the baser reneged on it <laughs> and went humans, <laughs> and then uh, there are no nurgle chaos. Obviously, I don't know about you, but um, I tried to make a uh, mutation team. It just, it just, it just. <laughs> You're so lacking. You're so lacking. Yeah. No, Chaos are a terrible job. I mean, if you're trying to win money, <laughs> you know, and this, <laughs> yeah. is, this is probably the most money that's ever been involved in, in Blood Bowl, probably more than the first one. I imagine. I don't know. I don't know. Don't Actually, me it's the same, except that the payout is less for... So the I believe the first World Cup was 4500 for first place, right. and it was all in Euros. But this is ten thousand dollars U.S. dollars, ah, so it's less. Yes, and it's only three thousand dollars for first place, and then fifteen hundred for second place, and then right. uh, so on and so forth. I I do believe that, um, unlike the other one, it was a little bit more money for the top uh, sixteen players to make it in. I think. The top sixteen only got, I think, a hundred. But don't don't quote me on this. I, I don't know. But but it, two hundred fifty this time is a little bit more, I believe. So it's 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 for first or second amount of blood, of money that's ever been on the line for Blood Bowl. So there's a guy on Fumble, one of the best coaches on Fumble, called Stone Troll. He always uses chaos in in tournaments, you know, and he, he goes like tentacles on them and all sorts, and he does all sorts of crazy stuff. And I'm sure if he was playing for ten grand, he he would <laughs> instantly dismiss chaos and go Woody's. <laughs> Chaos? Who are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I think you well, well, Jimmy, season. you know what? I don't want to keep you up any longer. I know it's Sunday night for you and for all these other people. So thank you for joining me. Wow, so much. Give me your insight and your knowledge. So I really appreciate you coming out this late. So yep. thanks for having for me on all the of you, For all of my fans and all yours, you know, thank you. Yeah, cheers to you too, buddy. See you soon. <laughs> and stay fantastic. <laughs>